Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. We are already seeing how much our lives are becoming. Some of us are just catching up and others have tested of this for a while. But I want to encourage you. Every series, every teaching, just follow them the way they are. Don't try to tamper with any equation you are giving. Be that childlike and watch something happen in your life. Are we together? I think it's quite arrogant for anyone to not have result and criticize anybody who has it. Archbishop Benson Idahosa said, um, you only have a right to criticize a person when you can do twice what he has done once. Our society is full of people who believe they know what they are doing. And you see, the trouble about this pride is that the nonsense will not show now. After years of wasting your time, you will find out that the Bible calls it shadow boxing. But the apostle said, we have not taught you cunningly devised fables. The things you are learning here are not my ideas. They are older than me. The truths that come here represent the wisdom of God. You hear me sing that song? Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river. There are people who have crossed this river. We are not trying to invent something new. There's nothing about the anointing that is new. There's nothing about generational impact that is new. So I want to encourage us, pay attention to these things. Don't get so familiar and then don't listen. No. Open up your heart. Don't just write. Don't just say amen. Don't just fall down. Don't just roll. Believe it. Receive it in your heart and be diligent be diligent to apply it listen I give you one guarantee let me tell you this and I've been saying this for many years you will never never fail if you listen to what I'm telling you believe me there are people who will think these things are just jargons and then after many years the danger is they will now have children and families yet they don't have an idea of the systems of God and they will frustrate a whole generation as a result of their ignorance. Please, I'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and pray. Do not take your word lightly. It is capable of changing my life. It is capable of bringing the anointing into my life. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and I will forever see 
It's your spirit that opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your name. I will sing. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. Last week we began a series that is aimed at giving us spiritual intelligence. Please listen. It is dangerous to live in ignorance as to the systems of the spirit. You hear me repeat some of these things again and again. Your victory and my victory in this life is not only dependent on what Christ has done but dependent on our comprehending the same and applying the principles that will make it happen in our lives. The disaster that occur in several lives regardless of what Christ has done is proof that the work of Christ by itself will not bring you results. Are we together? There must be an understanding and we must know how to engage the word and um, there are a number of concepts that we discussed. We took one last week, which was the spirituality of life. That was the first intelligence that the Lord began to walk in our minds. And we investigated this very thoroughly. Life is spiritual. How many of you were blessed last week? Yeah. It is important for us to understand the spirituality of life life is not scientific life is not intellectual life is not emotional life is spiritual are we together and the earlier we understood spiritual things and how to navigate the part of life the earlier we came to this understanding the better the swifter our progress would manifest there are so many people who trivialize the spirituality of life and um it is to their detriment everything about your life to this moment is spiritual so we'll continue we'll take on one just four concepts in this series that I believe that the Lord wants to burn in our heart number two God is almighty write it down and then listen to me number one life is spiritual that's the first intelligence you need to have if you want to reign. Second, God is almighty. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17. Media, let's work together. Deuteronomy 10, 17. You will never be able to obey God. Listen carefully. You will never be able to do the giant things that the lord desires from you fulfill purpose and assignment if you do not have a revelation of the might of god you can have a revelation of his love you can have a revelation of his goodness but if you want to command victory in your life you need to know that god is not mighty he is all mighty deuteronomy chapter 10 okay verse 17 let me just read it from here if you have it let's read it together if you don't i'll just read alone one to read for the lord your god is god of gods a mighty and an awesome god who regarded not persons nor take it reward some version says nor take it bribe it says for the lord your god is what 
God of I've taught you what this means that every time one thing is compared against another is trying to show the all-surpassing excellency so he says this Lord your God that you serve he's not just one of the gods he's not just one of the lords please listen this God that we serve is not just the best option of the many he is the only option available there are so many people who cannot obey God today there are so many people who cannot believe God so many pastors businessmen family people are unable to receive the instructions of God are unable to take steps of faith not because they cannot read their Bibles they do not know how mighty and how great God is one of the things that you must burn in your spirit as you begin your journey to greatness is to know that God is mighty mighty Savior he can move the mountains listen to this song my God is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever he's the author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave Jesus conquered the grave there is nothing the Lord will ask me to do that I will be afraid of no I have caught a revelation of how mighty he is the reason why many people cannot obey God is not because they are disobedient they do not know that he is mighty listen look at this come Sam if if I tell Sam I will buy you a car tomorrow he will not just laugh the first thing Sam will do is to look at me and evaluate me my capacity financially based on whatever information he has at his disposal is that true so Sam will look at me if Sam does not know me he will go and ask someone who knows me is this guy wealthy enough to be able to buy you a car at will if he receives a testimony of my ability Sam will now stand and say I can believe you is that true if I if I say right now everyone in Koinonia just be listening to me welfare department go and buy minerals just pass it around you will never look and say apostle don't deceive us how much is minerals are we together so it's easy to believe me because subconsciously you have an understanding that I am able now if I say everybody just sit down we're going to pass car keys around you will say amen but what you mean is the prophecy for car keys because you look around and imagine so when God says I will bless you your understanding of him will judge what he has said and you say Lord I trust you but it's well I, you have a track record of fooling men God is almighty so God can speak to you and say son do this do that let me tell you something God never gives you instructions based on your ability he speaks to you as though he's talking to himself so don't be surprised to hear how how challenging his instructions will come when God speaks to you he speaks to himself so he's not going to degrade his standards just because your mind is trying to comprehend him are we together it's up to you by the ministry of the word and the spirit to rise in understanding and get to a point where you will count him faithful that was the testimony of Abraham the Bible says Abraham although he was an hundred years he counted God faithful and so he wavered not at his faith through unbelief one day God will stand up and say son it's time to build a big cathedral son it's time to do this I will be stupid to stand and say God don't don't disappoint me no no I have made promises to people as a man and I've seen how they just rejoiced oh I will give you 10 naira I will help you to pay your school fees and they jump I've not given them any money didn't give them any check they just started jumping around what if I change my mind you don't think I will so you are happy our unbelief is proof we do not know God is almighty so when he told you you will marry you are still asking him question Lord can't you just give me date and let two of us rest <laughs> 
I will bless you and you will prosper. Oh God, when? When? Do you know, do you know worry is a sign of lack of faith? Worry, believe me when I tell you this, it's an uncomfortable truth. Worry is a sign of lack of faith. When he's in charge, when you are in charge with him, there is no reason, no reason, no reason. This is the revelation that is responsible for confidence. When you see people move around, it's not as if there is a charm in their pocket. But I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able. Looking at the great things that God has done today, ENI is not six years. It's just Koinonia that is six years. The meeting here. But even at this, it is still a humbling experience. Watching the things that God has done by His grace. Seeing the many things. Seeing His word come to pass. Do you believe Him? Do you truly believe God? Don't tell me you believe God until you know that he is mighty. Not just that he's mighty, he's willing to hold your hands. When a man is willing to help you and you know that person has capacity to help you, you trust him. The word trust is from the word bata. It's best described, Pastor Alpha's son is not even considering whether his father's hand is tired. He's sitting happily and playing while the father takes responsibility for bringing the child here. Is called trust the child has had a track record in his little life that my father loves me but my father is also strong strong enough and so he can afford to move around not minding whether the father is uncomfortable or not did God ever tell you he's tired of holding you did God ever tell you he he needed assistance his hand was paining him God is not Moses The keeper of Israel. The Bible says he neither sleeps. What kind of a being is that? You don't sleep. Nor slumber. The Bible says there is no searching of his understanding. There's too much unbelief. There are very few people that believe God. You see it in their lives. Although they claim they trust him. But the, 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 the way we act shows we don't trust him. I believe him. That's the song. He's able. He's able. He's able to bless you. He's able to keep you. He's able to bring his word to pass in your life. God is almighty. He's not going to borrow power from someone else and return it. No. He didn't store the power somewhere else. He's not signing like a check, like you go to the bank and plead with them to do a transfer. No. He is almighty. No man voted him into power. Listen. He doesn't store his anointing somewhere and he's insecure if they will take it. The Bible says, once have I spoken, twice have you heard, uh -huh, help me, that all, 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 he never said he's the only one who can use it, but he said it belongs to him alone. Witches can use it by certain manipulations of the laws of the spirit. But hear me, brothers and sisters, all power, the power to make wealth, kabaratoshia, the power for favor, the power for increase, the power for breakthrough, the power for children, the power that swallows up challenges. That power belongs to God. Know this. Listen, let me tell you. Ask anyone who knows me. I thank God I've taught you about the gift of men. I've taught you about the ministry of men. But God cursed the eye. The day I will leave God to put my eye in a mortal man, Believing that he's the one who will help me. Look, in my little life, I have seen the inconsistencies of men. It is foolish for me to sit down and tie my destiny to the word of a man. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I judge him faithful. 
I can tell you I want to help you and get angry tomorrow and say, Pastor Alpha, you offended me. I will punish you. I won't help you again. That's a man for you. I can say I want to help you, but me too, I was expecting help from, some, from somebody. How powerless that can be. You are standing in the middle of help to help. But there's no helper of God. He checked around and nobody was greater than him. So he swore by his name. That by these two immutable things, it is impossible. Listen, I'm speaking to someone here. You better believe God and say, Lord, if you spoke to me about your, my destiny, let's go. I believe. I like Joshua and Caleb. He said, let us go up at once. Look at David. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? This, all this fear about our lives, fear about the future, fear about ministry. Will I be rich? Will I marry? Will I have children? How many? Will my pregnancy stay? Will I die? Will a plane crash? Will a car jam me? All those things are results. Hear me. Will crowds come for my meeting? What if they get angry one day and don't like me again? Those thoughts are a product of of a lack of knowledge about how mighty God is I sing that song again Savior He can move the mountains My God is mighty to save He is mighty to save forever author of salvation He rose and conquered the grave talk like this I, I know what some of you are thinking when you hear people talk like this you just say they are lucky I mean you have food to eat you have this thing they kept in front as though we were born like that <laughs> let me tell you something very few people in this life even historically were ever born with any privilege it takes an understanding I remember clearly when the Lord would speak to me in the secret no results no results but i believed him i remember when he told me he would anoint me and he would do great things i remember when he began to give the blueprint of e and i the blueprint of i remember those little instructions he gave on our way to crusade grounds hoping the world will work let me tell you something hey, Jimmy, come come let me tease this guy small i love him he's my friend you see when we started out let me tell you something that time it wasn't like a crowd like this there were few people now I remember clearly I told them that when we went to the crusade ground we we're going to meet all kinds of people blind sick and all of that and I think he thought we we're joking and we had already planned that that time everybody was a minister it wasn't like you're in welfare you don't so when it was time to pray, you would just choose at random. You didn't have the privilege to know what was wrong until you stood in front of the person. Are we together now? And I remember very clearly, Ejimi then and Jakes. When I started saying all those things, Ejimi got troubled one time and he said, come on, let's, let's really find out. Are we going to, how, you know, trying to find out, I hope this anointing works. I hope those devils are going to be cast out. I remember... I hope you can remember. I remember one of the, the first day of the crusade. Two of our ladies, they now went to meet a woman. You remember the story? They went to meet a woman who was deaf and dumb. You know, they came with all the zeal, had received impartation. We had fasted our lives. I mean, we're looking like skeletons. And then the ladies now laid hands. You know, oh God, you spoke to Joshua Selman. And I'm telling you, that woman was just looking like this. No miracle no healing it was so embarrassing 
the ladies tried how many of you know that when you try you go around and go around nothing happens i remember one person a jimmy i think it was a jimmy that wanted to minister to a young boy and the boy looked at him and said can you see that tree sir he said we have tied people on it he said he can go and call what did he say he wants to go to the market and call the other people that tied some yes a very small child i remember the shock on a jimmy's face listen we didn't look like much then but we believed him the third day of the crusade the deaf and dumb woman spoke her ears open remember the first day nothing happened it was so embarrassing so embarrassing for the ladies they came and met me i said don't worry try it do it again your faith and then on the third day, I just got angry. I said, okay, you people have tried. Look, this moment, let's deal with this thing before these villagers kill us here. See, you know why I'm telling you this and why I called him? It was faith. I remember while we were preparing for the crusade, he took his computer, his personal computer. He was the only one who had a computer then, not a laptop, a big screen computer. He took everything and put it on sale to carry all the money and supply for the crusade these are hidden stories that you may never never know never knew. i dedicated my scholarship 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent for the crusade sacrifices why because we knew god was mighty at a point we didn't have the money to pay where we lodged people as at that morning we were in trouble so we went to greet the king when we went to greet the king we exchanged pleasantries greeted him in the palace and then prayed for him we had a session with the pastors a pastor's conference it was a wonderful time people sowed some seeds plus the seed the king sent that was how we gathered the money listen there was no assurance no uncle no auntie no partner but god Everybody shout, but God. Thank you, Jimmy. I love you. God bless you. But God, when you bring God into the equation, the calculation changes. You have to know that. I had fainted, the Bible says, but God. But God. The psalmist said, if the Lord had not been our help, now may Israel say, if the Lord had not been our help. Listen every other thing should happen to you but god i'm prophesying to somebody the shame should come but god the interceptor every other thing should come but god the trouble should come but god when you add god to the equation the calculation changes god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that you should repent one of the mysteries that are responsible for fearsome results responsible for the strange breakthrough in the lives of men is absolute trust in god based on an understanding of who he is he says be strong in the lord and in the power of his might the revelation that he is mighty be strong let your stability be upon that i know i do not have the rent but god is faithful i don't know how it will happen but one thing i know is this god will help me he said i will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help he says my help cometh from the lord the maker of heaven and earth apostle my father is dead i understand but god is still alive apostle my mother is dead my sisters have vowed that because i became a christian no sponsor apostle there is there is no helper no there is a helper He's the one who can help men look when god decides to come into your life and help you you will be scared at the result there is something called the help of men we are products ebenezer thus far has the lord helped he says uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of the lord there are many people who remove god out of the equation of their lives so they look at you 
and say but i'm more intelligent than you why is your life making progress because i i kept i didn't add god i put him in front of me there are many arrogant people believing they they do every calculation by themselves then they say god where are you just come and join the queue some of us have learned we put god in front and we foolishly follow foolishly follow if he moves this way wherever we are we turn back and say god let's keep going he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake he said yeah do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death what will happen i shall fear no evil why not because i'm masculine for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me then he says thou preparest a table for me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over do you trust god do you believe god is a little teaching but let me tell you something your life will be challenged by circumstances that will require your faith in god no matter how hard working you are a day will come the only person you can cry to I want you to glue this understanding hold his hands and never let him go you're all i want you're everything Lord. you're all have ever needed you're all Wait, give me you. I hold on today. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Hallelujah. The only guarantee to your journey of life. Is his presence and his word his presence and his word men will fail you not may fail will fail prepare for it the best and the most reliable of all of us will still fail brothers and sisters please listen to me so that you stop yourself from receiving heart shattering heartbreak I don't trust men no I don't I receive of their ministry but only as accredited by God. I have pledged my life that anything God cannot give me, let no man claim he can give me. No, sir. No, sir. If God cannot lift this ministry, I will be a liar together with any other person who joins me to believe. No. He said, which of you by worrying can add one cubit? One cubit. One strand of hair. Is God blessing us? Everybody say, God is almighty. God is almighty. In, my life. in my life. Say it again. God is almighty, God is almighty. In, my in my life. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, I permit you to show your might. I'm tired of doubting you. I'm restraining your hand. I'm restraining your hand. Ah, there is more that you can do. There is more. There is more that you can do. I have restrained your hand through my unbelief. They limited God by saying, Can God, can God, can God bless me in Zaria? Can He bless me in Zaria? Where are the helpers? No. The God I serve is dependable. Dependable, dependable, hey, dependable God.
sit down but in one minute I want you to look at the mountain that has threatened God in your life and I want you to prophesy say my God can handle you lift your voice and pray say it my God can handle you I may not have what it takes but my God can handle you no my God can handle you pray my God can handle you the shame and reproach. I may not be able to do anything about it, but my God can handle you. The stagnation and delay, the lack of results and lack of progress. My God can handle you. I do not fear. My God can handle you. You know that song, Sam? In, in this place. place. Sing that song for us. Let your power flow. In this place. I pray for signs and wonder. In this place. Let your healing flow. Psalms 147 verse 5 quickly I'm shaking unbelief in your life shaking unbelief in your life God is a mighty God he's the almighty not an almighty the almighty no options no one above him no one above him thank you Sam he says great is our Lord and of great what power then he says his understanding this is the mystery behind his power his understanding is infinite now when you meet such a man never leave him his understanding is infinite great is our lord and of great power 
it says his understanding his comprehension is infinite I trust him I believe him you know we when Ogun we came in um, left this morning and um, while I just passed the whole Lagos about an expressway down I kept seeing different camps prayer camps belonging to different ministries and I thought for a while one day all of them were in their rooms and God came to them and said I will make you great do you believe me and they were stupid enough to say yes some could not speak English but they said yes mm. had no connection some no education but they said yes it is when the results happen people start admiring you no the mission is follow me if you can have that rugged faith to follow him you will return with a testimony please I want you to bond this every time challenges overwhelm you every time you come to a point where you don't know what to do meditate on the might the might of God I like angel Michael when they started fighting with Lucifer over the body of Moses this is what he said he said I will not bring any railing accusation against you but this is my verdict the Lord I invoke a power greater than me the Lord rebuke you you've been trying to fight many battles on your own it will soon kill you there are some battles that will eat you up on your own there are many young men trying to fight the battle of finances by themselves I'm brilliant I'm not daft you will soon die the the, the reality of the economy will swallow you up you better humble yourself and say Lord lead me I'm not ashamed to declare that I do not know if you don't lead me the Bible says trust in the Lord with all your heart Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 6 says and lean not on your own understanding right it says in all your ways verse 6 now acknowledge him and he will make straight your path seven says be not wise in your own eyes he says fear the Lord and turn away depart all this do you know why many people don't trust God this macho man bold face thing that they want to do to life listen it's good to be bold but we make our boast in the Lord when you remove him out of the question you are boasting and you must defend yourself indeed we make our boast all day long the psalmist says your confidence in life is not just because of your intellectual capacity your confidence in life is not just because you think you went to school go and find out how many graduates are moving around as if they are holding a tissue paper your confidence in life is not because you think you can speak english your confidence is not because you think you look good <sighs> there is one mighty strong strong mighty you threaten me he will answer you mm. you will hear my voice in that equation he will echo and when God speaks everything if you speak to me it's only me that will respond to you but when God speaks everything will answer everything please tap into this understanding I'm giving you spiritual intelligence don't ever say they are basic leave God out of your life and watch the way the enemy will eat you leave the understanding of the almightiness of God and show me how you will ever build a house show me how you will ever build a ministry show me how you will ever build a business it will it will so shock you take God away that is a a, a mountain that cannot be surmounted but bring him into the equation and he will cause it to tremble before you now the thing is men don't see him they see only you so they think you are the one doing it alone it's up to you to be smart enough to keep his presence by being an usher and pointing men back to him and say look i know you saw only one person walking but we are two and actually i'm only the second of the two not the first there is one in front of me i am a product of his wisdom i am a product of his leadership there is this treasure he says in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of God not of the vessel please repent from this unnecessary vain confidence in yourself I will do this I am smart 
the way i'm anointed it's impossible for me to not have an anointed ministry you are joking go and find out how many people see jesus almost every day and don't have up to 10 people in their church it's not because they are going to hell if it does not give you these keys it says a man can receive nothing except it is given if it is not given to you you can't have it it's impossible what an awesome god you are you're an awesome awesome god what an awesome god you are you're an awesome number three ready the third key man will always have a role to play man will always have a role to play in fulfilling God's word in his life man will always have a role to play I'm giving you spiritual intelligence so you don't waste your time asking why things are not happening man will always have a role to play someone is being delivered already from this statement your role is not taking the place of prophecy but it controls manifestation between thus saith the Lord and it came to pass you have a role Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 man will always always the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional the love of God is unconditional but his blessings are conditional Here's what it says, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt, uh -huh, listen, diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, pay attention. Then, number two, to do all his commandments which I commanded this day, that the Lord thy God will do what? Set thee on high above all nations of the earth, verse two, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee what's the condition if thou shall hearken verse 2 just stop there if thou shall hearken to the voice of the lord thy god he didn't say if god speaks he will set you on top as powerful as his voice is it requires a partnership are we together how many believers sit down there is a very sad statement that is used especially around the north that's to mean it was so prepared by god no i believe in the sovereignty of god there are things that are written there is how god can veto in a man's life but it is not in his character to veto over everything are we together so if i'm poor is the will of god if the ministry refuses to grow is the will of god no 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 the will of god is not hidden he has made known unto us the mystery of his will it's clear i know the thoughts that i think towards you jeremiah 29 11 thoughts of peace and not of evil not of evil not of evil not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end that means if my life is not bringing me a future an unexpected end I know that something is wrong I can't sit down stupidly say no this this has to be God no 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 I know his ways it's not a mystery I know there are challenges I know there is a fullness of affliction I know there are seasons but I also know that the times are in the hands of God he said until the word of the Lord came to him the word of the Lord tried him right but when that word came he prevailed over it in the dealings of God with man you don't suffer forever no sir 
understand the ways of God so that you don't sit down giving God thanks over things you should be rebuking hallelujah if the membership of koinonia begins to reduce I won't sit down and say it's the will of God he's driving wrong people that's nonsense we know that there is a spirit destroying men because it is the will of God that all men might be saved all men there's no such thing as the crowd does not matter it does the ministry of the kingdom is a ministry of multitudes when you understand your partnership you will know what is demonic you will know what is a process you will know what to give thanks for and what to cast and bind there are too many believers who just sit down and say whatever will be will be unfortunately it's what you don't like that will be are we together everybody hates me they are not nice to me say well maybe that's how my life is it will continue like that you have not sat down to say could there be the manifestation of an evil spirit in my life that is bringing this rain of bad luck i'm such a nice personality but why is it that people cannot help me when you begin to probe and look at things then the lord will show you your own role and say this is what you have neglected this do and you will see the hand of god everyone say i have a role say it loud i have a role to play in the fulfillment of god's word over my life and destiny say it again i have a role to play in the fulfillment of god's word over my life and destiny say it one last time i always have a role to play in the fulfillment of god's word over my life and destiny never allow anybody listen never allow anybody indoctrinate you into believing you will sit down and cross your leg and things will happen no sir even science refuses that even science refuses that nothing moves by itself right yeah the first law of mechanics science people a body remains in a state of uniform motion or a static state till an external force acts upon it otherwise meaning if i leave this here and there is no force acting it will remain there forever your destiny is like this object it will remain in one place the day god wants to change i know my god he will arise you know your god but he will not arise you provoke his hand to arise for you god will deliver me you people should just keep watching no there is what you must do good master what shall i do to be saved that's why the man was rich what shall i do he knew he had a role to play not oh god save me that's what the other guy said on the cross we are here it's true we are thieves but what did you even say and jesus looked at him the other one said look we are sinners lord we take responsibility say you you will be with me this day in paradise the other guy still on the cross as a thief and a criminal was not repentant I'm somebody who is obsessed with a sense of responsibility i i detest irresponsibility of any kind especially spiritual irresponsibility if my life will rise it's up to god in partnership with my cooperation still on this point i want you to write this down are you getting blessed tonight just listen to what i'm telling you and you'll be surprised to see how your life will change write this down still on that point three your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding in as much as it is important to take action that action must be based on knowledge and understanding not emotions not suggestions not guessing you see the thing about god is he clarifies what role you have to play moses stretch forth your rod it didn't say moses just do whatever you want to do i'm just there no stretch forth your rod 
Jericho, Joshua, tell the people to go around Jericho. Specific instruction. Once every one of the six days and on the seventh day they go seven times after that together with the priest they raise a shout specific rule proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 we we'll look at two scriptures so many people are attempting to cooperate with god but they are doing it in ignorance now when you when you walk in ignorance you alienate yourself from the possibilities that are that are contained in God. Proverbs 4 verse 7. Let's look at it. Proverbs 4 verse 7. Let's turn it from here for time's sake. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Then he says, and with all thy getting, do what? Get understanding. Wisdom tells you what to do. Understanding tells you how to do it. Wisdom tells you to cook. Understanding tells you how to combine the ingredients. Wisdom tells you you have a great destiny. Understanding tells you the path to take. That's why he says, Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. There are similar roles, but they are not the same. A light to your path, direction, a lamp to your feet, guidance, a light to your path, direction. Listen, if you come and you're looking for direction, I'll tell you, okay, go left. You're going to see two roads, follow the left one, turn. That's direction. But when I tell you, let's walk together and we get to a place, I say, okay, move with me. That's guidance. The word of God both guides and directs. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So God shows you where to go and guides you on how to go there. Make sure that you understand what to do before you start doing it. Don't just say, wow, this tight. Let, okay since prosperity is tied to tithing and all of that let me just tight you may be taking the action but is it based on knowledge and understanding you can frown your face and come and squeeze an envelope and stand as if you are going to stone god with money and drop it in the offering basket as though you are bribing a man and go back and find out that your heaven still remain closed because it is not the substance it is the understanding the insight is what gives life to the action are you seeing that now yeah so you are praying for the sick and you are saying in the name of jesus be healed but you think he's just about speaking so you are saying be healed be healed be healed and the person is not being healed you are still mentioning the name of jesus in the name of jesus be healed be anointed the power of god will touch people right now everybody you ask them to shout everything i receive shout jesus shout fire shout water shout and everybody is just looking at you like a rock i say you are such a bunch of unbelievers here you are you are trying to insult the grace of god on my life then you start making reference to meetings that's what people do when they don't have result is it not you that came in 1991 remember that meeting <laughs> bible says jesus the same yesterday today and forever don't bring jesus of yesterday for us we want to see the jesus of today alive and strong but that's what happens to people let your action be based on knowledge knowledge okay what is the revelation behind tithing why does tithing open the heavens wow tithing is my spiritual circumcision tithing is my proof of obedience tithing is not a proof of love giving is a proof of love tithing is a proof of obedience Tithing does not mean you love God. Tithing just means you are obedient. Because an exact figure was given to you. So I begin to study it. I see those who gave their tithe and the results that followed. And then light breaks out. And now I package my tithe with understanding. So I come and while I'm singing, I'm in the worship team and I'm trusting that every time I lift up my voice, people get blessed. I know that it's not just a nice voice and beautiful melodies. I go and begin to study. What is it about music and worship? And I begin to find out, ah, 
this is how it works now on the strength of that understanding when i lift a song i'm lifting that song from an understanding that understanding will allow a dimension of the grace of god to flow through that song and you find out that people become a reflection of your understanding never do things because people are doing it spend time to seek knowledge and understanding then you take an enlightened step take an enlightened step everybody is doing business to prosper you too you go and do it no what is the purpose of it Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 the Bible talks about those who are alienated alienated from the life of God through ignorance alienated from the life of God through ignorance through ignorance through ignorance are we together yeah there are people who although they are supposed to be walking in certain realities they exempted themselves through ignorance being alienated from the life of God and the Bible says through ignorance I am always passionate about a revelation of the areas where I do not know I'm not too proud to learn I always want to know what am I doing wrongly what when I find knowledge that is relevant to me I jump at it with all my heart I know you have been taking action but is it based on insight is it based on revelation you saw people anointing themselves you went to go and buy goya oil and you brought it and all of a sudden you opened a bottle and drank small rub small on your head rub small on your hand went to sleep and a spirit sat on you 10 minutes later and he said my god with this oil yes with the oil you carried your bible and put it under your bed and while you slept you had the worst dream even the day you slept watching a film you had a good dream but now you put your bible because it's not in actions revelation there are too many people who don't pay attention to revelation revelation ephesians 1 17 paul speaking says for this cause i paul bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him your eyes being enlightened or flooded with light that you may know come into a comprehension come into an understanding of a reality it is important for us to know i like it to say in the name of jesus lord take away ignorance from my life say it again take away ignorance you know let me tell you something the little understanding that god has given me about certain kingdom realities the mysteries of the kingdom i watch how people break these laws every day and want to succeed and want to do well i watch pastors break the laws that bring success in ministry i watch business people break the laws that bring success in business I watch leaders break the laws that bring uncommon results. I watch people who want the anointing break almost every law that brings it. You see, enlightenment is very powerful. Because when you are moving in darkness, you don't even know. And so you keep trying. This is not working. But I fasted 30 days. I thought at the end of 30 days, an angel will appear to me and say, from this day, I give you a mantle. Receive it. You collect it and... And nothing happens and yet you see how effortless certain people move in the grace and the power of God as though God owes them his presence and power you've got to find out it's not just in saying the power of God is moving it's not just in saying this and that and that no as I pass Lagos about an expressway today I saw the predictability of the results of the people you know most of those fathers of faith came from the same background the same background the apostolic church aladura cac that background regardless of what they have now so certain foundational things were functional regardless of what the ministry is crowds space they caught a revelation of space they don't buy small things they buy kilometers not plots 
and expand it. I've had the privilege to see photos of some of these ministries in some nations that are racist nations. Yet they gave them land. It's a grace. Now, they may not have as much revelation as you do. But sadly, they have more results. Which do you prefer? The end of everything, brothers and sisters, is results. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. Not that you learn about plants, that you bear much fruit. You can learn all you can about plants, but if you cannot bear fruit, you are not glorifying the Father. Your action must be based on light. And that means you must contend for light. Let me tell you how I study. I write out the areas of my life where I have seen some measure of result and I celebrate and thank God. Then I write out the areas in my life where I'm trusting God for results or greater results. And then I begin to study from the word of God and secondly from the life of those who have commendably produced results in that area. That's how you get results. That's how you get results. I'm not going to study somebody who is not working in the anointing if I want to work in the anointing. I will love the person. I will respect the part, the fact that he is part of the body. But he has nothing to teach me about the anointing. It's not working in his life. So I will find somebody who represents the hand of God to the degree to which I desire. And humbly study to the degree to which I desire. There may be many of them, but I must find the one that reflects my expectation. Then I study. Follow them, the Bible says, who through faith and patience obtain, not are obtaining. They have obtained the promise. Hallelujah. Run away from ignorance. Run away from it. Start acting blindly. Don't just act emotionally. The moment you panic, blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Honestly, Holy Ghost fire. And these demons you are hearing, Holy Ghost. You don't know what the fire of the Holy Ghost does. You don't even know whether it exists. You don't even know whether the blood of Jesus is there and what it should have. So you are just praying, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Blood of Jesus. It will never, I, I refuse to believe it. Then you start crying. Even you, you know you didn't believe what you said. Because at the end, you just start, stop praying and say, God, is this how you leave me? May people of confidence arise who know you see when you are walking by light you will not stop regardless of the result because you know the result will show it's like driving right when you are driving somewhere you don't get tired after five minutes and say we've not reached let me park this car you keep moving why because you know you will get there when people start practicing certain things and stop it is because they don't have a revelation that that is the key for every door, there is a key. You have a bunch of keys in your hands. The Bible calls them the keys of the kingdom. You have to painstakingly find out which one opens which door. I can have a bunch of keys in my hands. That does not mean the doors will open. How many of you have different doors in your homes that have different keys? You can see one small and then another one big. The keys don't replace themselves. You have to know which one. There are certain padlocks, you open them in a very interesting way. There are others you can close your eyes and just chuck it and turn and it opens. All in the same house. So there are things you can just come and effortlessly solve. But there are others you have to look at it with the eyes of the spirit. Ah, this is what I do. This is what I do. And I get results. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. May the days of shadow boxing come to an end in your life. Efforts that are not done out of knowledge, efforts that are not done out of out of accuracy, you will begin to be circumspect, and every action of yours will start producing strange results in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take two more and then we'll pray. Is God speaking to you? Thank you, Jesus. Number what? Number four. Evil still exists. Write it down. Evil. The reality of darkness. The depravity. The existence 
of wickedness the existence of darkness is a revelation that you must comprehend if you want to walk in victory walk in triumph and have spiritual intelligence listen it is not only weakness it is foolishness to ignore the presence of evil evil still exists first john chapter 5 verse 19 let's turn there write it down and turn there. first john 5 19 jesus thank you can you play the guitar too for me binga just follow him and play god wants to do something in this place first john 5 19 it says and we know that we are of god and then it says apologies for the projection issues i'll just read from here you listen to me carefully and we know that we are of god then it says and the whole world lieth it didn't say receives visitation the world is lying like you say this pulpit is lying on a a rug a carpet then it says the whole world lieth where in wickedness listen i want to give you spiritual intelligence the condition to be a victim of any attack from the devil is that you are born not that you do anything wrong or right the moment you find yourself on this side of god's kingdom immediately there is a contention every human being on earth is a potential battle axe satan will not wait till you become one he starts attacking you from birth he knows that everyone born of a woman carries the potential to be used by god are we together yeah apostle what have i done who did i offend have you heard that that culture driven terminology God, this one that demons are against me nothing works in my life i didn't offend anybody you don't have to there is a story that predates your existence listen to the teaching pulling down strongholds and a number of other teachings warfare series i teach there very extensively on the reality of wickedness many of us trivialize it until it attacks you no the bible says woe to them who are at ease in zion scripture clearly tells us that this world living is a warfare living is a warfare i think it's dr paul Enche who says that the world is a battlefield not a playing ground it's a real battlefield just start getting blessed and watch people hate you for doing nothing you are trying to show you have money who did you offend nobody lie down and sleep and let someone not be able to sleep he wakes up and is angry why are you sleeping this is the world we live in you have a neighbor who looks at you and sees you dancing giving glory to god and he says all these arrogant people i will deal with you that begins attacks in your life please listen to me i'm sharing with, i'm giving you spiritual intelligence I have factored in my life that every day of my life until Jesus comes, somebody somewhere hates me enough to want to see me dead. Somebody somewhere hates me enough to go. So only God knows how many people are in a herbal shrine now calling my name while I'm sleeping. Only God knows how many people are saying, let him have a plane crash this year let him have a car accident this year so that all the mouth is making about the word of god so that people will be discouraged the problem is never the enemies the problem is you but to ignore their presence is a joke the psalmist listen judas one who was close to jesus used a kiss a kiss is supposed to be a good thing a sign of love but to someone it was a sign destroy him brothers and sisters hear me 
I don't mean to insult your civilization, but I'm sorry to inform you that witchcraft is real. Say it after me. Witchcraft is in everyone's village here. Everyone is in the city, is in Zaria. Somebody somewhere is looking for blood and they are hoping that your own will be the one they are finding. <laughs> you better grow up fast enough to believe what I'm telling you. The whole world lieth in wickedness. A man goes out in the morning and returns back with a sack letter. That was the happiest day of his life. But he returned back. Ask Job. Job was minding his business and consultations were happening in the heavenlies. And all of a sudden, everything began to fail in his life. Brothers and sisters, I can look at a life and know that this life is under attack. I have seen marriages under attack. All of a sudden, love dries up between the husband and wife for no reason. The man is angry with the wife. You ask him. Many times I counsel them. I say, sir, what exactly did your wife do? He said, apostle, I can't tell you this is exactly what she has done, but I'm tired of this woman. I have to look for another one. Then you know that hell is breaking loose. Madam, why do you hate this man? I'm tired. I've not enjoyed my marriage from the day. We've been married for 17 years, not one day of joy. Madam, you didn't laugh on your wedding day? Not one day of joy? Not one day of joy. <laughs> Yet you see videos of happy moments when they dance together. Not one day of joy. And she's planning to leave that guy. By Jesus, for sure. A man prays for the arrival of a child. And have you seen people who look at their children and regret that they were married? Not because the child did anything. From the day this child came, our finance doesn't stay again. What sort of a child is this? I don't need a word of knowledge to know that your life is under attack. All I need to know is, did you say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you mean business about your destiny? Then your life is a project for darkness. How can we make the word of God fail in Pastor Alpha's life? How can we make promise not become that thing? How can we frustrate the purposes of God upon Benga's life? That's the devil for you. Let me tell you something with Satan. He's a patient fellow. Don't take his patience as foolishness. He can be patient and wait for 20 years until the ministry expands enough for you to not pray again. Then he comes just like he said he would and destroy your life. Are we together? There are many of us right now. I know your life is under attack by your prayer life. I see it. You don't need a word of knowledge. I know your life is under attack by the bitterness. Things you never would conceive before are now at work in you. I see the anger and the resentment. You hate everybody for no cause. It's not you. Peter, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. I look at a man and know his life is under attack. All doors of finance is closed. Then four children become sick in one day. He's coming. The thief cometh not but to steal. You always see his signature. When he comes, he leaves the traces. A family that were once happy, all of a sudden, from nowhere, you will see the lady will just come with one kind of trouble somewhere. The guy will come with one kind of trouble somewhere. The guy will start smoking. He will come and speak to his father and say, from today, I'm a man. You talk to me, I slap you. Just when he's doing that, they sack him from work. Just when he's doing that, something happens. His car packs out. Brothers and sisters, it is not a test. It is oppression. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, mysteriously, people start dying within a region. Have you seen that happen? Just like in three weeks or one month, men, fathers of people just go away. Mothers of people just go away. Brothers and sisters just go away. Just like that. Five people lose their jobs within two weeks in your house. Don't tell me it's not an attack. 
someone promises you i will give you a job even says complete everything you travel around the last stage someone just wants to sign and say what did you say your name is again femi me i said i will help you call this person for me did i say this guy was part of them you say sir we even drank minerals that day say look i can't remember drinking any minerals leave this place i have seen witchcraft life in the lives of people i have seen families under attack no one rises you rise beyond certain limits the devil will not stop you but one day something happens and it crashes you there are ministries within certain regions that don't reach three years zaria is one of those places the lifespan of any ministerial impact in this city is three years after three years a scandal must arise or something must arise and destroy you if you survive three years you are truly anointed you see it happen a musician comes into the city they are inviting him to every church they exhaust your grace in two months and dump you they are looking for the next person there is such evil like that there are men of god like that there are seasons where they are relevant for one year two years they are the talk of the town almost every church invites them after that you see them walk upon the street there are names in this nation and around the world i cannot even begin to mention people who were inspirations when you mention them they represented certain dimensions now they are as silent as a dead body wickedness is real evil is real one of us here showed me the picture of his father i think it was last week and i saw the man's legs like half of the leg you could see the bones sorry for painting a graphic picture no flesh it had eaten what happened to the man he was sleeping no went to bed at night and all of a sudden someone fired an arrow to the leg he saw it and woke up just a slight pain a slight pain started eating up when i saw the picture it was irritating i said this is your father's leg just imagine dividing my leg by half imagine the toes knees you are seeing the bones that's somebody's leg alive today hiv people who receive their hiv not by a bad living but from dreams are you aware do you know when the enemy rises against you do you have the discernment to know or you just sit down and say we are all like that it's just nigeria you know i've shared with you a, a story I'll, I'll, I'll share it here one time i was praying i think i was in a fast and then i was praying and i've shared it here a number of times my the, the ceiling just disappeared like disappeared like that and all of a sudden i saw a big creature big like as tall as this from here up the eyes alone were like the head like my head imagine two of my head that's the eyes and then the tail was like a snake imagine another animal joined to another animal the tail had life of itself it could detach and live its life independently you know how you caught a worm and then the parts are, are, are acting that's how it was and then he looked at me with fierce anger and this is what he told me he said so you think you can bring the people of god into abundance that was a conversation red fiery eyes and after that the vision disappeared you think the devil is happy every time you are being transported you think the devil is happy every time you are being delivered you think the devil is happy every time you are being saved being healed you think the devil is happy with this information you are receiving that your life is being changed you think the devil is happy that now you have been taught not to cry at challenges in times of famine you should dance and rejoice you think satan is happy with that mystery so imagine how much he would try to come against me let's do something to this man imagine how he would try to come against koinonia let's do something against koinonia who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne 
mountains bow down, every ocean roar to the Lord of Lords, who is like him, the lion and the lamb, seated on the throne, mountains bow Listen, when you find out that there is a pattern of pain and tragedy, I want you to know that hell is about to break its bank over you. And that is the time to arise. Before the throne, there is the cross. And you must know how to fight your way to victory. This is where spiritual laziness has cheated many of us. This is where the ministry of prayer has been absent in our lives the ministry of engaging the world for victory too much carelessness and people never rise they die at the cross there they die in the grave and there is no resurrection for them hallelujah when everything in your life goes haywire please hear me i understand that here and there one aspect of your life you may be trusting god but when every area of your life is zero if you have been finding out whether it's the devil, I answer your prayer now. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know his signature. Everything cannot go wrong at once. Something is wrong somewhere. And so it is important you acknowledge it. And then you lock your door and find out what is the mystery of deliverance. Not what is the mystery of prosperity. What, why am I not getting a job? No job. No money no favor no open doors no anointing no breakthrough no helpers you are under attack don't wait until it kills you you finish treating yourself now two weeks later it comes back i guarantee you you are under attack the moment stomach pain is getting healed your eye starts as you are taking the last drug for eye your ear starts all of a sudden you hit your leg you're on your way going to your room that little hit you for two weeks there is no bomb that cures it that was not a stone that was more than a stone i remember one day i was praying and i was praying for someone a particular person in this ministry and then when i was praying the lord led me to pray for that person and immediately i was praying you know how you blow somebody on your back physically like i stand behind you and blow that was what i felt physically when i started praying for the person do you know sincerely speaking i had to kneel down and lay my hands the pain was too much and i knew that person's life was under attack ah i said my god you have to arise and help this one i laid hands there no praise and worship let me tell you this there are prayers that prevail there are different kinds of tongues there are tongues for warfare it's not the tongues for just edifying your spirit man you do you know it will change believe me it's because you don't pray that's why you will never get there just speak anything and even you you know it didn't rise shalakata the day you lock your door, I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this, you lock your door and say, I'm not going out until there is a change. I'm blasting tongues. The spirit of God, you will feel your tongues changing. You will know this is warfare prayer. You may not know what you are saying. Your mind is not fruitful. But at the point, your spirit, the anger of your situation is added to your prayer. You are not laughing, praying nonsense. You are thinking of who is calling. No. You are praying because you know that you are breaking through. And at a point, joy. Mm -hmm. One of the signs of the manifestation of the kingdom. Joy comes to you. And for reasons you cannot explain, you know that victory has been wrought. Peace comes to you. He gives you a sign. I tell you, when you get that sign, start dancing. No power. Hear me. This is how I live my life. When I pray. Listen, let me teach you something. Hold on, please. When I pray, I don't stop until that joy comes i don't do all this i'm praying for 30 minutes one hour if it is in five minutes the joy comes that's when i stop pray 
You hold the universe. You hold every one of us. Listen, there are people here. The moment a man appears in your life, those spirits arise. The lifespan of that relationship, it will not pass two months, no matter how vicious you are. You thought it was just because you were bad. No! The best people in your family have gone through the same thing. Please listen to what I'm telling you. I'm giving you keys that will give you victory. Evil is real. Hear me? If you see crowds like this gathered inside and outside by the grace of God, brothers and sisters, victory was commanded in the realm of the spirit. It didn't just happen. You sit down there and allow Satan to keep blackmailing what you represent. Every time you want to bless people, people say, don't trust Benga. I'm still suspecting him. Don't you know there are spirits that plant deception? You blast them out in prayer. Someone wants to marry you. All of a sudden, a stranger arises. She does not know she's under the influence of a demon. This lady did A and B and C last year. No, sir. The moment he wants to bless you, he wants to do business with you. And a night before signing the contract, what million? Somebody calls him and says, who did I hear you are doing business with? Be careful. You see that? Let me tell you, there are spirits. I told you life is spiritual. You keep watching things happen in your life, you will never rise beyond some levels. There are some of you, the moment you hold money, finances, everything will go haywire till it finishes. When it finishes, everything dies by itself. It's an attack. It's an attack. There are times some of you have received calls from me even in the night you were sleeping and you just had me call you and i say where are you what are you doing oh apostle i'm in this and that and that all right let's pray some of you have, have received calls i just call you I, sometimes i don't even know you you don't ask how i got your phone number i just call you and i say let's pray in the name of jesus a and b i see the numbers in dreams and the lord says call this person there is an attack over their family I just call you and off the phone. You don't even know what happened. Some of you, when the devil is about to buffet you, the Lord uses my face in your dreams. Here he comes, shows up. I tell you, if you see me in your dreams, start dancing. I'm not a herbalist. Believe me, it's a mystery. God used the voice of Eli to speak to Samuel. God uses a grace you honor that represents a ranking that can solve your problem. So when he shows up, he shows up with his covenant of possibilities. It's not Joshua Selman. It's the lamb, the lamb himself using the face of his servant. Listen, don't mind people who preach nonsense around. Say men of God use charm and have a list to mind. Do it if it's easy to, to make charm. There are men of God I have prayed to command certain miracles in this ministry. And while I went to sleep, certain faces that I respect with respect to the dimension of the desire. Here they come, they walk up. Just like I come to you too. They come and sometimes they just speak a word. Sometimes they lay hands. When you get up, don't just laugh. You get up and receive it. This is where you miss it. You just get up and say, I saw a puzzle. And you are smiling. You miss your miracle. That's the time to dance. Shada Katai. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. Listen. Before this ministry entered a supernatural dimension of prosperity, I remember I was sitting. I'd been praying. I'm practicing this principle but I knew that it, it's like there was a resistance a resistance and that night I prayed my heart out as I was sleeping all of a sudden I was preaching somewhere in Canaan land and Bishop Oyeriko was sitting down David Ipiome was sitting down close to him two men I respect their voice when it comes to the aspect of kingdom wealth territorial wealth and they were watching me just like supervising a student on project I was standing on the stage I could not stand very well it was shaking 
and afterwards I came and Oedeko asked me to empty everything in my pocket on his feet when I dropped it he said no there's still some more I put my hand I dropped everything and he laid hands on me somebody took me to a room I opened the room and I saw dollars I saw pounds I saw naira that was the beginning when that happened koinonia exploded like a charm there are mysteries you don't have spiritual intelligence you will never rise never rise some of you were this close to your breakthrough but you did not know what you saw you thought you had a dream only if you danced for 10 minutes that would have been the end of that problem but you did not know help those under the anointing you will January this year I was praying and all of a sudden I was caught up in a vision and then when I was caught up in a vision the second time I would see Papa Adeboe in an encounter not a dream not lying down to dream the first one it was a pastor's conference and then they were serving food in a tray and I was sitting and he pointed me he said come and then I came, I saw pastors looking at me with anger and envy. And he said, sit down here, let's eat. I said, I can never do this. I've been trained to respect. He said, I said, sit down and let's eat. Two of us sat on the ground and we were eating. When I got up then January, this one happened like 10 years ago. January this year, when God declared that it's a year of triumph, I had that encounter again. He finished doing something and then I came to him. And I can't remember what happened. And then he, I, I, have, I have it written down. And he looked at me and said, okay, I'm going to pray for you. And he started praying and he was laying hands and he was singing a song in Yoruba. Quietly, just laid hands on me and he was singing a song. And then when he finished singing, he says, now I open up the gates. You know how he's just talking. I open up the gates of influence to you walk in it and he told me bye bye like you tell somebody in Yoruba go you can go I've opened the road brothers and sisters this is how this is what we call encounters you don't know it how many encounters have you had and you missed it because if it is not perfected in the realm of the spirit the same way you call somebody and shoot an arrow in the spirit and leave him quietly then in the physical Two weeks, he's still moving alive, but he's dead. He doesn't even know he's dead. You see him and greet him. How are you? He said, in two weeks, it's my birthday. And you laugh at him. You killed him two weeks ago. Yet he's still walking. And one day, he, anything can kill him because he's already dead. Anything. That's the same way when you are blessed in the spirit. Anything can prosper you. It's not about what you do. It's about something that has entered you already. You own the universe. You own shed it in on 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 to teach you something about the operation of witchcraft there are only three ways witchcraft operates I will be teaching you next week and then I will teach you the last point on how to command victory but someone has learned something tonight you have been wasting breakthroughs you finish koinonia and sleep you finish your prayer and sleep and things happen in the realm of the spirit you get up and you don't permit them to happen in this realm don't you know a man must speak for things to manifest You saw your marriage, but you got up and you were shy. You were embarrassed. And you just laughed and said, ah, don't mock me. I'm not talking of all these demonic things where you are moving around, no. Listen, it's not every encounter in the spirit that is demonic. 
some things god is telling you the season has come especially when it's it is emphasized two is the number of emphasis three is a shorty is a witness that god has decreed that it should happen but it never happens never happens because there is no spiritual intelligence i don't waste opportunities in my life the greatest of my battles are fought in the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit that's what happens you've not commanded victory in the realm of the spirit you are pasting posters everywhere come for my meeting you are just wasting your money for nothing believe me the victory miracle service is always finished before friday koinonia is always finished before friday you don't come and finish koinonia here it's risky risky you don't come for miracle service and stand on stage and say it's time to be healed foolishness that's not it doesn't happen that way from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain then it was possible for him to be slain physically if he were not slain in the realm of the spirit he couldn't be, be, be saved physically it always happens first in the realm of the spirit we are going to pray we are going to pray i i feel i feel i feel the air of some warfare prayers we, we, i i just sense in my spirit that we need to pray some warfare prayers listen in the next five minutes i know our time is up but in the next five minutes i release my faith with you and i want us to pray we are going to force doors to open you are not praying to edify your spirit no every pending breakthrough it has been declared it's my season of trial i have seen it in dreams the lord has confirmed it i should be blessed i'm not asking i know it it is a season Pray, pray, Koinonia. It's a season of encounter with the anointing. I cannot remain at this level of grace. There is a dimension. I have seen it. He gave me a witness. He gave me a witness. It's my season of breakthrough. It will not happen like before. Now I have intelligence. I will not waste the dreams. I will not waste the visions. I now understand. I now discern. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the beaters crown. You are the crown.
the visions of wealth. I have seen it. The visions of wealth. I call you for the visions of wealth. The visions of wealth. says withhold not good from thy brother when it is within thy power to do it say not to him come today come tomorrow God has it now did you hear what I said now I want you to lift your voice and say now break through now break through now break through not next week no not next miracle service now favor now favor now break through come on Cornelia now anointed, now anointed, now grace. It's not a negotiation. You have declared it's my year of trial. I stop bad news. Lift your voice and stop it. Lift your voice and stop it. Tired of bad news. Tired of disappointment. I stop it. I stop it. Have respect, oh God, to the covenant. I stop bad news.
Listen. Never let anything to chance in your life. You will be so disappointed. Never let anything to chance. This is a word for someone. Never let anything to chance. If anything will happen, you will make it happen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Listen, if you have never believed a prophetic word for any year, believe it now. Believe it now. Thanks be to God who causes us always, always to triumph. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every vision you have seen that represents what God wants to happen in your life now, and was hijacked by any power in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command the expectation of God for you as revealed to you I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now. Hear me. Any human agent that partnered with darkness to hijack any aspect of your destiny, let the fire of vengeance. You see, we've been praying vengeance here in the last two weeks. Just follow what God is doing. I command it that has stolen anything from your life, from your family brought you disaster may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night whoever will not let you go must go for you whoever will not let your destiny go must go for you I release vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance I decree and declare every power that close your means of breakthrough in the name of Jesus I declare tonight let there be a warfare in the heavenlies we deploy angels we deploy angels the angels of God we declare are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to the heirs of salvation angels we release you war a good warfare release destinies release lives release favor release breakthrough in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I decree and declare whoever is behind God's schedule for him, God planned that by now there are some realms of anointing you should have entered, some realms of breakthrough. Anyone behind schedule here, I want to push you by prophecy. So take a time. Pay attention. There is a grace for speed. I decree it. In the name of Jesus, upon everyone here, behind Shadul, in the name of Jesus, I command you, catch up now. Catch up new now. Favor. Fire. 
right now. It's a new favor. Now, this is not a Jesus a new favor. Aya, someone is entering it right now. Is a realm. Is a realm. You can enter it. Take her time. No matter where you are, inside, God, outside. Body. All those who the word is upon us, I will put the word upon, the word upon your spirit. Anyone the devil has sought to always have disappointment, I prophesy again. Catch up now. Catch up now. Listen, I don't want the chains that held your legs. What you are receiving in the name of Jesus, by the fire that Elijah caused, it's more than, more than a miracle. miracle. I decree and declare. You are receiving a May new those season. chains break now. May those chains break now. Hallelujah. May Listen. those chains break now. You heard me say it again and again. The anointing does not make the difference. I pray for you. This night as you sleep, may my God show you a sign. Your life is only so close. You don't have to change anything. Something just needs to come. God is a God of signs. That lady on blue. God is a God of signs. That lady on blue. That lady on blue. That lady on blue. You are holy. Signs of the victory. It's over. The yoke is broken. It's over. Over. This is how to receive your portion. One more prophetic word. Anything less than this, you are playing games. This is how I'm you receive I'm hearing in my spirit and the Lord will locate the devil them. Will not sounds of joy. Me. No. Sounds of joy. The anointing will look for you. The anointing is like an address. Sounds of joy. Where are they, oh God? Sounds of joy. You must hear that sound. Sounds of joy. For joy is a force in the spirit. Sounds of joy. Sounds of joy. Sounds of joy. Sounds of joy. Hallelujah. Let's sit down if you can for a few minutes. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Please pay attention. I told you there will be impartations all through. All through. All through. Even while the word of God is coming. When I saw the visitation God gave me in the secret place, I knew he was up to something today. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. Listen. And with Power. and then the Bible says with that Holy Ghost and power he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed he didn't just heal them with compassion listen 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 he didn't just heal them with desire he didn't just heal them with talk he healed them and did good because he was anointed you must be anointed for everything zeal is not enough results are at the mercy of the graces and the anointings that are at work in you our lives are defined listen to me brothers and sisters our possibilities in life are not defined by our backgrounds they are defined by the kinds and the dimensions of graces that are at work in us it is on the strength of this that men are different they are not different in their biological makeup they are different on the strength of what they are hosting within them this is what creates a response your environment does not respond to you physically your environment has never been disobedient what is on you controls the extent of the response of the things around you how God look at the extent to which Jesus was anointed and the Bible says he went doing good the measure of good he did was proportionate to the grace that was at work in him you don't do good just by desire please listen while I was leaving home to come here my heart was so heavy because there are thousands of people gathered and thousands others from different parts of the world following 
and now I'm wondering these people have challenges listen these people have mountains I got a text I think there's someone here is it a five-year-old child or something with cancer right here in this place tonight five years that's the woman right you are the woman no no it's not a word of knowledge just sit down they sent me a text look at that woman no matter what you sing and preach that woman has brought a child five year old with cancer what did the child do the child does not even have an opportunity to say anything the bible says that good that this woman wants cannot be done just with zeal and desire listen to me that good because there is a spirit sitting on that family and that baby it takes more than nice talk to set them free i will never be a man of god who will be a noise maker the problems of people are more than noise people need results in their lives look at that woman left adamawa because she came for an encounter right here and her father who had an accident was walking brothers and sisters hear me i repeat your possibilities are limited only only the little work with god and my work in the spirit i have come to the conclusion that your limitations are never a limitation caused by mountains they are limitations based on the extent of grace the kind and the dimension of grace at work in your life is what defines everything literally everything from favor to breakthrough to healing to speed regardless of what the problem is believe me when i tell you there is a dimension of grace that can solve it so our challenge is not to discuss obstacles our challenge is to contend to dimensions where every obstacle that is prevalent to man is under the jurisdiction of the grace we carry at that point you become a blessing when you love god and you love people you will stay in the secret place till you become anointed because that's the only thing you have to give people you can give people stories after this meeting now you will forget everything i've said just like you forgot what i told you during the miracle service the only thing you remembered were the prophecies i told you and the miracles you had as powerful as the teaching was last miracle service you frankly cannot remember it entered your spirit but it's hardly in your mind but you remember the pain you came with you remember the hunger you came with now we don't live and serve God just for miracles but brothers and sisters my simple teaching tonight and this is what the Lord put in my spirit to share with us that miracles you receive listen listen this is you have to get this tonight the way you maximize miracles is not by experiencing them alone you must discern what those miracles mean because miracles are a code they are a language the voice of God is upon every miracle that he performs he is speaking something and it's important you understand what God is saying are we together now the miraculous every manifestation of the Spirit of God signs wonders healings breakthrough prosperity favor open doors whatever they are you have not maximized a miracle if all you live is with the experience of it you must discern the voice of god upon that miracle and the language that he through that miracle is speaking to you that's how we are blessed by miracles every miracle is a language just like laughter just like tears these are different languages in the realm of the spirit and tonight god is using the miraculous to say three things to us number one I will say it exactly as the Lord asked me to say it. Mm. Number one, the first language that miracles, signs and wonders, healings speak is the language of God. But the first thing God is saying through miracles is, I am not the author of sin, sickness and pain. That's the first language of God that miracles reveal. 
the moment you experience a miracle in your life it's a language god is saying through it that i am not the author of sin i am not the author of sickness and i am not the author of pain john 10 10 says the thief cometh not in other words you never find him around except to do this to steal but for to steal and to kill and to destroy but jesus made clear his manifesto he said but i am come that ye may have life and that you have it more abundantly so when you experience a miracle in that miracle god is speaking and what he's saying number one is that by this miracle let it be confirmed to you that i'm not the author of sin i'm not the author of sickness please listen you will never open up your heart for healing if you believe god is the cause of sicknesses you will never open up your heart for healing if you believe god is the source of pain god through a miracle is speaking a language my son my daughter you came with a door that is closed now i have opened that door it's a message to you that i am not the author of sin of sickness and of pain two scriptures quickly mark chapter 1 please give us 38 to 45 very interesting reading mark chapter 1 i just want to put this foundation and speak the things that the lord has asked me to speak to us through his word and then we'll pray there are already miracles happening already miracles are happening mark chapter 1 38 we're reading down to 45 listen he says and he said unto them let us go into the next towns that i may preach there also for there came i forth 39 and he preached in their synagogues throughout all galilee and cast out devils did you see that next verse please and there came a leper beseeching him and kneeling down to him just like many of you have come to find out lord is this how my life will end or do you have another plan here's his reply to you he's saying he kneeling down to him and saying unto him if thou will thou can make me clean in other words i know you have the ability i just need to verify your willingness and this is what jesus says 41 and jesus moved with compassion put forth his hand and touched him and said unto him read on i will be thou clean i will be thou clean when you read from verse 45 down to 45 you will see that the man was healed so miracles are languages this is what jesus is saying through the miracle i will i will you know that i am but it's important for you to know that i will do it you know i can make you blessed but it's another thing for you to believe i will do it the bible says what things soever thou this thou desire he said when thou prayest believest that thou receivest it and thou shall have it miracles are a language james 1 17 james 1 17 i tell you the presence of god is so strong i'm just seeing a fog outside i'm not even seeing people that's all i'm seeing like a fog thick fog all the overflows that's what i'm seeing outside and i believe that that glory is doing something in people no matter where you are whether you are sitting in the gutter on the fence on a tree wherever it truly does not matter now i know that it's difficult to believe that because you're outside you think you are not seeing me directly it's not necessary james 1 17 everyone please read one two read every good gift uh-huh and every perfect gift is from above can mean anywhere so god clarifies coming down from who because there are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places so god says no so so you are not confused that i just said above it comes down from the father of light in whom there is no variableness 
neither shadow of turning he won't say this today and do this tomorrow so every miracle you will receive some of you have already received is a language you must not only experience it but you must discern the language god is saying look my son my daughter this dear family no matter how much you have cried and all of that he's telling you number one that know this because there are many of us here who are angry at god right now god you are the cause of my problems god you are the one who has not done this and that god is saying to tell you through the miracle that you will receive that he's not the author of pain he's not the author of the closed door say amen the second language that miracles speak the language of God spoken through miracles number two that I am a loving compassionate and merciful God the second language of God as revealed through miracles is that I am a loving comma compassionate and merciful God Matthew 35 verse 36 the love of God is a revelation that we must have listen 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 the little time I have worked with God I have been amazed I know that preachers have preached about the love of God I have also read about it but I am amazed at the love of God for me my revelation of the love of God only climaxes at the substitutionary work of Christ but there are things God has done here and now in my life that makes me know beyond the shadow of a doubt that God loves me and I, I'm not just speaking about general things oh you are breathing you are standing you are not in the mortuary all those things are general things that don't give personal revelations I have seen God arise to do things in my life that I, I, I sit back sometimes and I fight tears the love of God is a revelation that sponsors the release of power the love of God his compassion compassion is an adjective that qualifies love it, it attempts to add emotions to love when you add emotions to love it becomes compassion the expression of it revealed many times in scripture you see the Lord moved with compassion Matthew 30 35 verse 36 okay we can't have it projected Matthew 35 36 sorry let me just open it here so that we'll hurry up Oh, I think that's a mistake I said 35 forgive me let's go to first John first John 4 19 I think I skipped scripture I made a mistake there pardon me it was a revelation of the compassion of Jesus first John 4 are we there 19 please let's read let's hurry up because of time one to read everybody we love him because he did what who first loved us the bible says god had commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners right in due season christ died for us we love him because so what we are giving to him as love is only a reflection of his benevolence how that he gave it to us psalms 145 i found a very interesting scripture you'd want to listen to psalm 145 8 and 9 psalms 145 8 and 9 are we there
Psalms. He says, The Lord is gracious and full of what? Say it after me, full of compassion. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He says, slow to anger. The word there is patience. The New Testament calls it long suffering. Slow to anger and of great mercy. In fact, NIV says rich in love. Rich in love. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. Slow to anger and of great mercy. Verse 9. The Lord is good to how many? The Lord is good to... He says, and his tender mercies are over all his works. So the condition to qualify for God's mercy is that you are created by him. The moment you are God's creation, you qualify. Powerful revelation. Mm. So regardless of what the cause of the sickness, regardless of what the cause of the challenge is, are we together now? Whether it was your fault, whether it was carelessness, it was a mistake, regardless of what it is, the Bible says in God's economy, there is a system where his mercy can work. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Do you know why we need mercy? Because there are people here the challenges that you are facing right now in your life there are some of us the challenges are self-inflicted it, it, it was it was certain carelessness that gave room to demons they advise you not to sell the house you were looking for money immediately you sold the house and now you are houseless are we together that's carelessness but the mercy of God are we together you know sometimes we feel so bad and we feel can God show me mercy and rewind the hands of time and bring me out again the mercy of God was expressed in the parable of the prodigal son the Bible says the boy looked he was eating with pigs and says come the Bible says he came to himself and said how many hired servants have enough to eat in my father's house and I am here you know paraphrasing eating with pigs he said I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say father I have sinned against you and against heaven and I am not even worthy to be called your son but take me as one of your servants the Bible says while he was afar off the moment the father saw him he ran to him put the signet ring he didn't even say stupid boy you are finally back never discussed as as far as is recorded in scripture never discussed the only thing the father said is my son was once was lost but now he's found i prophesy to someone here those who are concluding against you because the challenges in your life were caused by you you know it was your fault there is still a bailout system in God's economy. It's called the mercy of God. Tonight may that mercy reach you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Miracles are a revelation by God that he can give men a second chance again. God does not just have a second chance. As many chances as your sincerity can receive. The Bible says he's slow to anger. Slow to anger. The distance between where he is and his judgment, he slowed it down to give you room to tap into his mercy. There is no mercy in the realm of the spirit. Mercy is only in this realm. That's why you cannot pray for Satan to repent. Mercy is only a function of time and only those who walk with time can experience his mercy. So he tied mercy to the morning. He says your mercies are new every morning. Every 24 hours is renewed again. Ah, so that he showed you yesterday does not mean he cannot show you tomorrow. God is a merciful God. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? There are families that are probably damaged here 
because of carelessness there are many families that are in financial bankruptcy they didn't listen when they would have listened there are many things we are humans is saying is, is a popular saying it says to air is human is that true all kinds of self-inflicted things but tonight there is a system in God I know you have even concluded yourself but there is a system after Samson's hair was taken away and they were using him to mock God in the temple they thought they plucked his eyes and the hair would never grow back again and Samson lifted up his voice to the God who was full of compassion and all of a sudden his strength returned and the Bible says he killed more people in his death I'm speaking to someone here they've not seen speed yet till you experience the mercy of God I know that for weeks now you've not been yourself but God is about to show you mercy and when he shows you mercy listen with mercy comes restoration naturally it's a sequence that follows don't sit down meditating on what you did wrong what you did right there is a provision for the mercy of God that's the language of a miracle so if when you were living in the world you got yourself involved with all kinds of things and then you had HIV now you are born again and you love God does God have to leave you like that to die? no sir no sir no sir every time sin was cured sickness followed if God has forgiven you your sin that is spiritual he should be able to heal HIV do you know there are too many people who believe things are not working in their life because of certain things that have happened it's a different thing if you're a rebel and your heart is not broken and contrite because the mercy of God only follows and, and is applicable to those who have a broken and a contrite heart rebels never experience the mercy of God so when your heart is broken and contrite you're about to receive something that will change you hallelujah I was supposed to go for the job interview but I stayed overnight playing games and I slept I woke up by 10 the interview was over I've missed the job now the mercy of God can still speak for you I told you mercy comes with restoration if you were supposed to be employed three years ago even if they employ you now it's not restoration it's just advancement God must find a way of bringing the balance of three years so that when they check the graph of your life they don't see where the lag was that's restoration restoration is not progress restoration is an is an acceleration to catch up with where you would have been had the obstacle not come let's hurry up number three the third language that miracles speak signs and wonders now this is very important the third thing God is speaking tonight and always through miracles is I desire that you trust me enough to follow me wholly. When God brings miracles, he reveals his sovereignty, not just his love. So he tells you that I am a God of love and compassion, but I am also mighty. I calm the sea, I calm your life. I am worthy of your trust. I am worthy of your handing over your entire life to me listen i am convinced that any man who is afraid of handing over the management of his life now listen it's a very different ball game to be born again and it's another ball game entirely to hand over the management of your life to god there are many people who are born again you are praying in tongues but you have not handed over the management of your life to god Come and learn of me, he says. Take upon me. He says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When it is killing you, it's not of God. Hallelujah. Is God dependable enough for you to, sack, to hand over your whole marriage to him? Is God dependable enough for you to hand over your finances to him and his ways? Is God dependable enough for you to hand over your life with him? Do you know when you see people carry talisman,
carry charm, carry arrow, and all these things they move around with to aid protection. Do you know what they are saying? Even that act of stupidity is also a language. God, I don't trust you enough to depend on you. Mm. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. So when you see the sovereignty of God, quarter to shame, he steps in for you. It's a language. He's saying, I am that mighty. And as a result, hand over everything. You know, my concept of born again is not that you recited um, the Lord's prayer, salvation prayer. Reciting salvation prayer for me is not born again enough. You are born again when I look at your life experientially and I see the influence of the government of the kingdom in every aspect of your life. You give God academics and leave finances, you are not born again. You are a rebel in that area. Do you know Satan only attacks the area that is not covered by the kingdom of God? He cannot attack an area that is covered by the kingdom of God because you are numb to it. Your job is to apply the principles of the kingdom and leave God with the responsibility of manifesting his word. Our fears, our insecurities make us to come out of alignment. So when Jesus came, his message was repent, go back. You've trusted God concerning every other thing. When you thought the carryover will come, you saw it change. Now for job, you are trying to maneuver your ways. There is somebody somewhere and you keep disturbing him. Hundred missed calls is foolishness. It's a sign that you do not depend on God. Tonight I'm encouraging you by the miracles that God will do in this place he's speaking to you and saying can you not see that my life your life is safer with me than it is with you are we together protection people are afraid of dying listen the world is so vulnerable you don't have to be outside to die people have sat down inside about to take the first spoon of food and they collapsed and died mysteriously there are arrows that fly by day. You can only rebuke the ones you know. What of the ones you don't know? The safest place to be is under. The Bible says he that dwells in the secret place of the most high. It says shall abide under the shadow of his wings. Like a hen covers the children. A hen may, you can slaughter chicken. But not when children are under it. You can catch it when it's roaming around. But when a real responsible hen has the children under it, you come near there, you lose your eyes for it. Have you seen a chicken that violent? Yeah. So God is a merciful God to you. But wait and see what he is to those who want to trouble you. That's why the psalmist said, How he said, Many are they that trouble me. Many are they that says, Where is your help? He said, But thou, O Lord, you are a what? Shield. First. God will shield you so that you calm down and then now turn and deal with anybody who is cursing him in your life. That's what will happen to somebody. I'm not motivating you. Believe me. If you believe in God and you believe in miracles, most people who believe in miracles have not settled down to discern what they mean. So all of a sudden, if in a few minutes now, the pain suddenly disappears. You don't just go back saying, wow, this, this koinonia is powerful. No, you have experienced the miracle, but you are not blessed by it because you have not discerned the language that comes from it. If God suddenly, by tomorrow, someone calls you and gives you a land, opens up a door for you, untold wealth within one week, if you just get excited and say, finally, I am rich, you have experienced the miracle, but you have not discerned it. You must know that God is speaking there and saying, it is my might. That one is not love you are seeing. That one is my might. I can compress time and bring your desire of one year to one week. Can you depend on me? That's why you see, most people, Pastor Jake, don't discern miracles. That's why they keep receiving miracles and their spiritual life keeps going down because they are receiving miracles and not discerning from it. I have learned from every dealing in, of God in my life a dimension of him. Like Mike said it so powerfully. There are names God wants you to know. Not the ones you've read in the Bible. 
he uses miracles to write his names upon your life so that by the time you are 30 years you are 40 years you have known certain names of god enough for you to build a foundation so that no nonsense will just come around and shake you if you have been born again for a while and you shake and fidget over everything there are some names of god you don't know are we together listen if by the grace of god let me just give you an analogy for many years we have been transporting people the bus services so you know by experience and by revelation that we are kind-hearted and we love you is that true now if on your way coming for koinonia sir somebody quickly rumors to you and says after service this night the way i've been feeling or apostle told me or i had a vision or i had a dream that we are not going to use bus this night the experience you have had with me will make you to trivialize that nonsense so when satan speaks and you pay attention it's because there is something about god you don't know so he will look at you and say hey, you better just be laying hands on your stomach because barrenness for sure is your own you are seeing it with everybody and at first you say no it's not my portion and then every day your whole prayer time you are laying hands on your and say oh god no i can't be barren i can't be barren it's no longer prayer you are only spiritualizing unbelief that one is not prayer again Do you know there are many things we call prayer that is not prayer that you are using prayer language does not mean it's prayer it's simply a spiritual way of communicating unbelief that's why it doesn't get answered to you you are consoling yourself but when it rises up is you are not asking god for anything you think you are asking oh god are you not the one who said this in the realm of the spirit what you are saying is god mercy i'm afraid so the only thing you get back is is mercy not answer because you thought you were requesting but God is listening to the voice of your spirit. You are, you, are ramp, you are wrapping scriptures just to vent fear. And God is saying, if you trusted me, you would have been quiet by now. Imagine that you are still praying for this chair to hold you by now. Pastor Alpha and Mike, you are just moving and then later I tap us out and say, ah, you stop praying, let's pray. Shabaladaba. Lord, in the name of Jesus, gravity is still working. I, I know this. Is that, is that are you, are you a, an intelligent physics student? No. That, there is a level to which we understand but there is a level to which it's unbelief and somebody will now ask you and say what you need is not prayer what you need is revelation and an encounter an experience that makes this real so someone will say jump up and match it when you match it and it does not fall do you know sometimes God does not call, cause trouble but he gives you strength by exposing you to your fears and then you find out that they didn't do you anything you thought you will die but you are still standing and so you laugh at what made you cry yesterday that's how we grow in the spirit doctor's report said two weeks you are still five years and you've not taken panadol they said this hepatitis is, is just at best oh if you reach 21 glory to god you are now 45. you were not thinking about it you have you reached 45 because you forgot about it now that you have started remembering you are wondering whether you reach 48 you will reach even 100 see i have constructed my belief system such that believe me when i tell you there are some things that cannot enter my mind again if i pray with you you'll be very frustrated because while you are rapping and ranting requests and say oh god baba this and that and that there are certain things you know about god that gives you rest that's why i say come on to me you have been moving you are going on to anybody you are moving he said come on to me all ye that are weary what wearied you running around like a roaring lion that's the spirit of satan that makes people god he, listen listen is satan that moves around like a roaring lion god only moves his eyes not his body the bible said the eyes of the lord run it to and fro satan has to physically run up and down and you are down joining him So he said come on to me this running around has worried you i will give you rest have you seen somebody rest when you say rest in peace is the person moving around have you seen somebody dancing and you're about to bury him you are wicked you bury people who are quiet be still stillness stability in the spirit is a great sign of faith turn and prophesy to someone and say be still 
Say your running around will not bring you the, the problem, the answer. Say it, say be still. Your phone calls, go, say it, your phone calls, text messages, and running around will not bring you the answer. Be still. Your lack of sleep, continue, will not bring you the answer. Discussing your problems with everybody will not bring you the answer. Beating your wife, whether you are married or not, say it. Say beating your husband too will not solve the problem. Harassing your children will not solve the problem. Committing suicide will take you to hell. Look, do you know people who claim they don't have energy, I'm surprised that they are wasting the remaining one doing useless things instead of them to go to the presence of God and die there and say, Lord, this thing, whether or not it is answered, I'm already in trouble. There's no other trouble to enter. So let me stay in your presence and die there. There is a way you put pressure on the integrity of God. When he knows he's the last card truly in your life, you'll be surprised to see what he will do. Many of us have options. You must follow him. He said, if you will not believe me, believe me for the work's sake. Believe that I am in my father and we are one. There is a oneness in us. I handed responsibility to my father and I submitted to his authority. It gave me rest. Brothers and sisters, any miracle that does not draw you closer to Jesus. Listen, even if that miracle was produced by the power of God, if it does not draw you closer to Jesus, you have not really received the real miracle. You have received the experience, but you have not discerned it to make you grow. I am surprised that the more people receive miracles, they now run away from God. When Zacchaeus had a miracle, he dropped down from the tree, gave up his, his um, tax collecting work and immediately walked with Jesus. When Peter saw the miracle of the fish, he said, go away from me, I'm a sinner. And Jesus said, no, come, come. Come and sit down, let's eat together. Miracles draw people. You are a drunkard, you don't spend one hour without taking a bottle of, of Gulda. You have been sitting here for hours now. The urge is not there. That's a miracle. The miracle is not so that immediately after koinonia, you quickly go back and take one more before you sleep. You have frustrated the grace of God. You know, let me tell you something. By God's grace, I believe in miracles. But I also believe the message that miracles give. We don't discern the languages. We only gyrate in the experiences. That's why Satan corrupts. When a native doctor gives you a miracle, he, he attaches a message to it. He says, by this miracle, know that this small thing, this horn you are seeing, is powerful. And when you receive that miracle, you will go back to the man again. There is nobody who runs away from result. When you receive results in an area, you stay there. If the result is consistent, you camp there. So that you visit God's presence, receive a miracle and run away. And only go back. Now that you have acknowledged that he's the only one who can produce the miracle, stay there. Tell your neighbor, stay with God. Please prophesy, say stay with God. There are people here as they are saying stay with God, the Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Because I don't care whether you are born again or not. The kingdom is not a priority to you. You probably just came here because the sickness or the challenge or the bills or whatever is eating you up. Yes, God will touch you. But if all you get tonight is prophecy so that you can build a house, you have not discerned it. Miracles, genuine miracles produced by the Spirit should draw men to God. So when you see the favor, it brings tears in your eyes. And you say, Lord, I will walk with you forever. I've tried every other thing, but I've settled with you. Say amen. The last message that miracles produce. There are many more, but let me just stop here. Oh, scripture for the third point. John 10, 30 to 38. Just write it and you go and read it later. Our time is gone. 
John 10 30 to 38 the next point what God is saying tonight and what he will say always with genuine miracles listen this is what he's saying my servant is my representative he represents my voice to you hear him the last message that miracles produce is that God is speaking to you that if I can come to you and prophesy to you if you can get healed if you can get blessed God is saying something he's saying the man you are seeing the ministry you are part of are a representation of my program on earth here and now so have the confidence to not just listen to me listen to them miracles are a language that demonstrate that the man speaking to you the one with whom God will use to produce the miracles I know people say in meetings we have not come to see any man we came to see Jesus that's true but listen to what father Abraham told Lazarus he said they have he said let somebody come you know return from the grave and he said no they have the law and the prophets they should listen to them in other words there are people that represent what the out-of-body experience would have given them listen to them a man who can tap from an unseen realm and bring an anointing to touch your life it will be stupid for you to believe that he's not at, in touch with God so if he tells you Jesus Christ wants a relationship with you and you don't listen to that one you have not discerned the miracle are we together now if I come and stand on stage here and I'm just standing and you are falling and shouting and receiving an impartation that is a message it's not just it's not about really about a man but it's the fact that God is speaking and he has found a vessel he's speaking with so you listen to the man speak as though you are listening to God forget about the imperfections that will come you are not alone the Holy Ghost is there to see through it what if I listen to everything and I fail no. how did they write the Bible How did they write the Bible? All kinds of people wrote the Bible. Temperous people. Bad people. But in the midst of it, the purposes of God were still preserved. Holy men wrote. Regardless of their imperfections. Let me tell you. There is a degree to which no matter how much flesh you have, God will veto it to make sure certain things will pass to his people with the level of purity that they need. Whether it is intellectual limitation, hear me. Whether it is spiritual limitation that is why a donkey can talk do you know what it takes for a donkey to learn english when men of god pray for utterance utterance is not oratory utterance is the ability of the holy spirit to superimpose your flesh and grant that your communication be full of light that it be accurate and with minimal if any corruption as it gets into the heart of the receptors that's utterance utterance is not the ability to speak english that's oratory utterance is a spiritual thing the capacity to communicate realities such that regardless the spiritual level of the listeners they will receive that one you have to pray for it you go to school to get oratory but you stay with the spirit to get utterance hallelujah Hebrews chapter 2 when you read from verse 4 the Bible talks about the man Jesus he said he was approved Hebrews 2 verse 4 can you give it to us quickly God also bearing witness he talked about the man Jesus and how that he appeared unto certain people and those people now haven't commissioned them to go and represent him the Bible says God also bearing witness both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will so God confirmed their word you may doubt their English but you may not doubt the result the same way some of you will not doubt what you are about to experience you know I watch people receive miracles and sometimes I know even them they don't agree have you seen somebody falling under the anointing and he's shocked as he's going down what's happening to me but he's still going down anyway that's the same way your life will change you will sit down and not know what is happening to you 
you will just walk out of this place and my god like the chains of peter fell you will see chains just fall and leave you it says god bearing them witness so what are miracles instruments of witness god validates the fact that this person is my servant listen to him he has been approved like you have navdak registration number on water now there are those who produce water at the back of their house and don't have navdak registration number when they catch them you find them whether they are sincere or not they were not approved We're about to pray isaiah 44 verse 25 and 26 two scriptures and then we'll begin to pray that staring is happening again isaiah 44 25 to 26 listen talking about god now the god that frustrated the tokens of the liars and make it divine as mad the bible says he turned wise men backward and makes their knowledge foolish listen to what he does 26 that's what he does to them but this is what he does to his servant that confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers what is the confirmation of the word you are blessed if it happens it's a confirmation what is performing the counsel be healed and immediately you are healed that's a performance that's creation like a woman is in her, her father is in adamawa and she's here in zaria and a word comes and all of a sudden she goes back and the man who had an accident now is walking he performed the counsel so if there is no proof in your life among the many variables you have to check is whether you are approved they no 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 you can be a servant of god but not yet be approved being called does not ever mean being approved approved mean you are being released to begin to dispense the realities of the kingdom many people think the opposite of being approved is being fake no the opposite of being approved is being real but unapproved there are many unapproved genuine servants of god unapproved genuine servants of god in ministry for many years ask isaiah he was prophesying but he was not approved six verse one in the year that king uzziah died isaiah saw the lord a call was taken and given to him is that true he said here am i send me god didn't say i'm already sending you that was when his ministry started you can be doing a lot of things the opposite of being approved get this the opposite of being approved is not being fake fake is in another category you can be real yet not accredited like you are a student but you don't have a certificate yet you are in school you are intelligent you may even be on it you may even be doing projects but it doesn't make you a graduate there is a certificate do you have it many people just stand and say the bible says this sign shall follow i am a believer be healed we keep mocking ourselves with nonsense because when you read the bible intellectually you will get not head sophia human wisdom you must read it of the spirit tarry in jerusalem he had told them many times do you know before he said tarry ye he had sent them one time he said go two by two what happened to the power that is now saying tarry until ye be endued what happened to the power that they came back blind i saw he gave them his name they were not yet approved they only went in his name that's why i said don't rejoice that miracles you didn't do anything there if i tell you the dynamics of the result you didn't participate the most important thing is that you must be a part of this family your names being written in heaven approved when you are approved it's like a register in the realm of the spirit so when god is paying approved servants you receive your share you are not receiving salary find out whether you are employed that's why the bible says those he called he glory he, um, those he predestined he called but he has not glorified them yet those he called after a season of building he now glorified them if a man will punch himself that man will be a vessel unto honor he can stop there as a vessel unto honor comma 
meat for the master's use believe me many approved singers not mistrels in the spirit they sing and twist their tongue and they think the secret is in minor songs and you sing all kinds of minor songs you think the secret is in clashing cymbal because Joshua Selman is doing it you harass every drummer to clash every cymbal no show me the certificate let no one trouble me Paul says for I bear there is a badge demon said Jesus I know we see his certificate a man approved of God approved of God approved of God Paul the apostle was approved of God let me tell you every true servant of God who has worked with God and has a dealing with God is approved and when he's approved immediately whether you are called into the ministry of helps there must be a sign from heaven when Jesus was born he was approved of God there was a sign a star arose on the day of Pentecost that experience was approved of God there was a sign every time there is approval there is there is a sign where is your own it could mean you are not even in the school completely or you can be in the kingdom and not be in the school of the spirit there are two different things like there are people in abu some are selling rice some are, are some have some some are selling um things you are inside abu but you are not in any faculty so you can be in the kingdom but not in the school of the spirit only those in the school of the spirit access power and command the grace that will keep nations still i'd like you to pray one minute and say lord i'm in your school oh nothing is taking me out of there i'm not only in the kingdom i'm in the school of the spirit the place where men are made with power the place where men access the presence of god superior dimensions of spiritual reality pray in one minute Thank you father for being in the kingdom I gave my heart to you and I'm there but Lord I walk with you consciously in obedience he that endures to the end he shall be given a crown and a white stone there are rewards not everything in the kingdom is a gift brothers and sisters there are rewards that's why there are diversities of results if there are no rewards everything will be possible for everybody at the same time because the Lord is rich unto all why are there disparity in results is disparities of trainings just like you have a professor you have a master's holder you have an undergraduate you have a secondary school certificate holder different seasons that provide different accesses to graces lift your voice and pray hallelujah second corinthians will rise up to begin to pray now god will do a quick walk second corinthians 12 verse 12 by this little teaching i I'd like you to desire more in god more in god greater grace a time will come your talk will weary people they will be tired of you when you speak and there are results your words become heavy they look like the word of god second corinthians 12 12 paul was speaking about his credentials you used to know me as a scribe but i had an encounter i was in the wilderness of arabia for over 19 years he was in the kingdom but he was in the wilderness of Arabia after 19 solid years of stringent building with the Lord a testament came truly the signs of an apostle there are signs called the signs of an apostle the sign is not the name I am Apostle Jeffrey I am Apostle Joshua Selman no I am pastor this I am Reverend this the word apostle there does not just mean apostle like an office the sign of an approved and a sent one when navdak approves something no matter what the drink is there is something they stamp there 
no matter what it is check somewhere even if there's no space they create space and stamp it it is based on this brothers and sisters that we can gather people like this by grace and say come this is not the issue of my personal faith this is the issue of a navdak number koinonia is registered this is like you have jam center there is jam center that is for crooks when people go there they don't even write exams is that true you pay money but there's what they call uh, what they call it approved centers when you go there you sit down there are tables they have gone through a, tra a training by the grace of god by the election of grace and by our determination to take advantage of it truly the signs of an apostle were wrought among you all in what was the first thing the first sign is not miracles the patience to endure till you access it the first sign of an apostle a saint one is not signs and wonders many foolish people deceive themselves the first sign is patience for many years you will walk with god and not see one result the first sign is patience you will prophesy nothing will happen you will pray for the sick nothing will happen but you are still in the school so patience then in signs notice the progression signs trickles then it now moves to the next realm wonders then the apex of your apostolic ministry is called mighty works that one is not personal miracle that is territories elijah stands and said there shall be no rain look at the progressions these four levels if you don't enter this level in ministry you will never be fulfilled there are people this where they are patience 10 years they will not move others signs here and there somebody is testifying you you are let me tell you how you know it's a sign you are not even sure whether it came from you they just say pastor prayed for me and sincerely you cannot tell when there is no predictability a sign shows direction that's not it if you see a sign to abu that sign is not abu it's pointing you there wonders a realm of predictable results you begin to see certain things and then before you reach the apex he called it mighty works the only other person that title was used for was jesus he said what wisdom is this that such mighty works were wrought this is where we are going where you shift systems so don't just say i'm born again i will enter here you are joking it's the same way saying i have admission i'm a first class student they gave you admission you walk your way to first class the options are there he gave unto one five two one according to their several ability not his desire for them several things will be happening tonight brothers and sisters i want you to trust three things tonight as we pray one listen 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 number one believe in your faith in god and god's faith in you two listen believe in the covenant that we have with god i told you that our work with god is based on relationship but kingdom advancement is based on covenant there are covenants that men have with god let me tell you listen i can take one bottle of beer here and come up and minister i will minister by the covenant my relationship with god is something he will deal with me with later on but as far as the covenant of using my life my grace and koinonia to minister not even me can stop it that's why when elijah died the covenant was still on his bones elisha his bones still raised the dead because the grace on him was authorized to do that not whether he was living or dead that's the basis of man to transfer that's the correct basis of man to transfer that when you touch a man or shake a man you are going not with a material you are carrying a covenant to your home god stops dealing with you now based on you it is on that basis we can say the god of this when you say the god of isaac there's something about god and isaac that makes him hear you the god of jacob there's another thing 
I don't encourage people to say the God of Joshua, Selman and this, but brothers and sisters, there are covenants. There are men, God, enter the covenant with them like Joshua. No man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. He didn't say where you do well. That's the covenant. This house you see is a mystery of covenants. Covenants here and there. That's the reason why we make certain bold claims. I truly believe that if all I use is just my personal faith, I will be afraid. I have eyes. I'm a human being. You can see cases that you know are impossible. But there are higher dimensions. Rise up on your feet. Let's pray. I've convinced you enough to believe that you can walk out of here free. Please lift your voice and in one minute blast in tongues. Pray in the spirit. Lord, I believe that by these two immutable things it is impossible for God to lie. Are you praying? For surely the signs of an apostle were what were wrought in patience and signs and wonders and mighty works. Listen, in one minute, please, young old, just walk with this instruction. Mention clearly the issue of concern and say, Father, visit it. Don't just say, God bless me. That's not a very wise statement. Be very exact. He said, give us this day. Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Please pray passionately. Emmanuel, we want to see you. Pray. We want to hear from you, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we want to see you, we want to hear from you. to be broken burdens are about to be lifted families are about to rise pray Emmanuel Emmanuel we want to see you hello Madonna such grace in this place such grace listen listen there are spirits you've heard me say it that tie down men there are spirits that tie down destinies there are spirits that tie down families and are responsible for the predicament of people when you come into the presence of God like this, some of you are lovely, innocent people. You love God with all your heart. But certain things are not going well with your life. Those spirits must give way. There is an anointing. Don't be afraid. Don't ask whether it will happen. It's not just your personal faith. You have believed God. That's all right. Leave the rest to Him. Whenever I call you, 
you will answer me My altar is calling you Oh God My altar is calling you Oh God My secret place is calling is calling you oh god take my prayer oh god take my prayer will you take my prayer take my prayer it's calling you all right we're ready let's go lift your hands I want to pray for you that every spirit and every force my God I see so many people so many people who will be delivered so many people who will be delivered I want you to bring them out the anointing is here it has come lift your voice at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus inside and outside I come against every spell every enchantment by the power that is in the name of Jesus that as God's people shout in the name that is above all names let every dragon crumble are you ready now at the count of three one two three my God charms 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 I'm seeing charms I'm hearing in my spirit charms bring them out charms charms Divination, instruments of wickedness, divination, I curse you, Katokata, outside, the angel of his presence, outside, sweeping like rain, that view, divination, instruments of wickedness, I command you to leave, I command you to leave, the place of his power so katatata reketekete empros katalikata reketekete sheketekotakata lift your hands my god my god my god listen i'm seeing something in the realm of the spirit this thing that they count there's this thing that they count one by one in the name of Jesus that's what I'm seeing and the Lord is telling me that there are instruments of divination people are about to be set free now Lord I don't know where they are but like fire is visiting at least 21 people inside and outside in the name of Jesus let it go I release that fire now help them right now right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost no devil will stand it I assure you no devil will stand it whether you are inside or outside there is grace to set you free I command divination I command yokes broken lift your hands and pray I'm seeing a number in the spirit 74 and the Lord is telling me that's the number of people that must be delivered from the spirit of delay lift your voice this delay is a wicked spirit I want to pray you may not know you belong to that category is the anointing that will fish you out guys be sensitive please please in the name of Jesus 74 people Lord wherever they are I stretch my hands right now the spirit of delay at the count of three I like you to shout Jesus one two three let them go now let them go now the cause of delay the spell of delay so Delay. Hallelujah. Those 
those outside only those outside lift your hands the Lord is directing me those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus first overflow second overflow and online there are certain people that will be picked by angels strong delay spirit outside in the name of Jesus are you ready just those outside one two three I command that spirit there's fire outside it must go now it must go now leave that sister leave our destiny hallelujah Faith, faith, F A I T H, faith. Who is faith? I'm hearing a name, faith. Are you faith? Hold on, hold on. Don't match the people here, please. Faith. This person is outside. It's a small girl. She's wearing a white something. White like white. Is there someone like that? Come. What's your name? This is the girl I saw in the spirit. I'll pray for you. Come. What's your name? Faith. Your name is Faith. Come. Where are you from? Let's hurry up. Please, if I mention your case, I don't have to mention every case. Don't worry. Our time is constrained. We wanted to make it a vigil. But we are off to Lagos tomorrow. Just faith. Let them come. Are you an usher? Usher, lift your hands. You are the first person to receive the miracle that I'm praying for. I'm looking at you and I'm not seeing an usher. God is saying he's visiting your family right now. Receive that grace now. Right now. Let that devil leave our family. Go. Delay. Out of our family. After that you can do your ushering work. Look at me, my dear. Where are your parents? Huh? Where is home? Where do you stay? You are faith too? Huh? Let me pray for you. Hold my hands. It's not just you I'm praying for. Look at me. I want to pray for your family. Your family is being greatly oppressed. Huh? Go and tell your parents that a man of God prayed for them. I'm seeing a family that came from Abuja. That's what the Lord is showing me. Abuja not just a person like a family that came from Abuja father in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle supernatural miracle miracle all of you your names are faith hold on please hold your hands together um so that we can save time we still have sick people to pray for we are going to be very fast it won't take long I want us to finish very fast tonight all the faiths I'm going to pray your name is faith too Osha you are not sure you're a worker you will receive your own differently lift your hands the lord is saying i should tell you he's giving you beauty 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 in the name of jesus beauty all the faith i'll just lay hands on one person as a point of contact to you father i don't know why they are out but may the anointing flow from this one lady right now to every one of them right now right to all of you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ so that we will save time by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see a family from Abuja. Where are you? Please let me speak to you. From Abuja. Clap for Jesus as they come. Quickly, please. Hold on. Who is sick? Who is sick? Who is sick? Chest. Your chest has a problem. Yes. You sleep in the night. Yes. And you feel as if there's something on it. Yes. This is witchcraft. Yes. But someone else is sick. I'm saying, where are you from? Abuja? All of Abuja, you? Yes. Hold on. Yes. All of you? Yes. I didn't say if you are from Abuja, please. You are a family from Abuja. Hold on, hold on. If they are here, don't push them. Let's be gentle on them. Why is he there? Okay. No, you don't have to. Those under the anointing, listen, listen. When people are under the anointing, especially for deliverance, there's a reason why they are out. Don't just lift them and push them. You can shift them. There's a reason why we ask them to come out. It's not to show they are falling. You already saw them fall there. Yeah. You are the one from Abuja. Lay your yes. hands. Come. Let me lay my hands on you. You are scattered. You are all the same family. All of you. The ones at the back. Are you the same family? You are on your own. 
you would have sat down there my brother my sister two of you you are together i will pray for you what do you want god to do for you please we don't have time if you are not sure i'll just keep you aside so that we can deal with it. i need employment employment yes, sir. I need a job. do you love yes, god job. yes sir huh? yes sir seriously yes sir what of you i want to follow my education sir see it's not everybody i'm just speak on behalf of your family we don't have all the time i have to pray for you my brother huh? god will heal you and then for you what's wrong yes, diabetes, that, i said there's somebody sick you heard me say there's somebody sick leave chest pain chest pain is not this this one is witchcraft it's not sickness this okay we have to pray huh i'm looking at this and i'm seeing these things that doctors used to check organs of people i'm seeing that he has a wound he has a wound inside and the wound is not healing we have to pray father heal that in jesus name lift your hands i'll just lay my hands on you very quickly my major focus is to pray for the sick that breakthrough we can prophesy that one but i i want to pray for the sick right now in the name of jesus be healed my brother your chest completely. you go and get a job in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus god bless you it's done go back to your seat please come quickly let me pray for you it's done i pray for you why are you here? Huh? I said I'm here that God should set me loose. God should what? Set me loose from everything. Set you loose. Yes. Distraction. You are distracted. One, two, you are very disorganized. Look at me. Your major problem is not demonic. You are very scattered and disorganized. You need your life to get some level of order. Lift your hands. And you, you want to do ministry. You, you don't need, you, you heard me say approved, right? You settle down. You don't just run around. If you are disorganized, you will not get results. Father, grant him grace. Supernatural grace. Something is leaving you and something else is coming into you. That thing that must leave you go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I release an anointing upon you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Why are they here, your children? Come. What's, are they sick? What's wrong with them? This one has a heart problem. Heart problem? Yes. Oh my God breathing problem they are all your children they are all your children hold them is you i should pray for not them the, the children are just reacting to something i have to pray for you eh? things are not going on well where's your husband he's abroad he's abroad how long has he been there getting to here what i want to tell you eh, is not something i will say in the open are you hearing me? But uh, I pray for the grace of God. That's that's all I will say for now. Yeah? And I'll pray for you because you see, any success. No, let hold my hands. Let's pray. Why are you holding our hands? You are a sister. I'll pray for you. Huh? You want to marry and what again? Are you married? Uh -huh. Marriage is one. What's the second prayer point? Job. What's the third one? Financial breakthrough. These are the three things I brought you here. There's one more. There are four. Ministry. Ministry. So there are four. I'm seeing it like that. That's why I'm telling you. Did you show me? Did you tell me? That's what I'm telling you. Marriage is number one. Then job, finance, and then you have the call of God. You're a woman of prayer and God shows you dreams. Is that true? Where's the mic? Yes, sir. God shows you dreams. Yes, and you are wondering, you don't know whether you should wait for your husband or start ministry now because that's your fear you see the anointing is on her that's your fear you don't know whether you should start something now or you should wait for the man god will send into your life and it's because you're a nice lady you don't want to do anything that looks antagonistic to his ministry this is i'm hearing you discuss with a friend huh and that's so god is going to solve that problem for you but you let's pray hold my hands father what god has joined together the Bible says, let no man, whether whoever, man also includes woman. Man doesn't just mean a male figure. Man includes man plus every Jezebel that represents a system. And I'm using, I'm not saying your husband, are you getting me now? 
this is not something i'll say here i want to prophesy any marriage any couple that are married now and there's anybody looming around to reap where you did not sow in the name of jesus we scatter that nonsense right now you will hear testimonies from this thing i just this little prayer has delivered somebody right now father let there be miracles the spirit of infirmity i command it to live your life now in the name of jesus bring the children please where's the one with the heart problem uh okay look at this adorable baby heart problem heart what did they tell you he said there is a swelling a, a swelling in his, in his heart chest. hold it for me it must go down because this baby now will not grow well how many of you know that the baby will not grow well you may not know what is wrong until he grows then certain things that should happen to other people will not happen to him i know a lady that i prayed for she doesn't have a womb i'm not saying it's not developed completely no womb like that usually it's these kinds of things um you know at the point of conception several things happen jesus in the name that is above all names i pray in the presence of your people this is why you sent me by the power of the holy spirit let this heart become normal now you see it you see what is happening i told you is the mother that should be prayed for i'm praying for him and see the person falling under the anointing because that's where it came from it returns to hell now i can't hold this one it's big in the name of jesus supernatural miracle see the anointing is on her too somebody come and hold her please hold her hold her god is healing the baby and healing her too. two of them hold her the anointing is on her god has removed something from your family related to this there's something you would have suffered that is related to this thing you are an usher while you held him that's why the anointing touched him in the name of the lord jesus christ i want to prophesy on two people they will come under the anointing now please bring them out just two people right here indoors there's an anointing that is coming on two people right now thank you jesus the, the lord is just giving a word we're going to pray for the sick now two people you can't stand it it's like fire it will come on you please bring them august is it augusta augusta august augusta or august something that looks august something a name augusta or augustina or something like that Please, anybody with that name, Augustine. Sir, this man, come. This, this fair man, come. Your breakthrough has come. There's a lady outside, that August something. You are outside in the overflow. There is another one, you are wearing chain. Chain. Like uh, this thing they wear. Is there someone like that? Not you, sir. You? There's somebody you're wearing. I want to pray. Uh, ah. look at you lift your hands look at me shout I avoid trouble shout it I avoid trouble you are speaking English shout it I avoid troubles because I'm seeing the devil planning to really frustrate you December and we have to pray against it and this is something that is, is something you are vulnerable to but in the name of Jesus, no trouble. By the power of the Holy Spirit, no trouble. In the name of Jesus, you don't stop them, you just guide them. In the name of Jesus. Sir, I want to pray for you. God is about to change your life. You are a man, look at me, sir. Two things will happen to you. I say it in the open. You will come and stand here. Look at me. One, look at me, sir. A level of financial breakthrough you have never seen in your Amen. life. Amen. Amen. It's what is going to come Amen. upon you. Amen. I want you to believe it sir it's not just because maybe uh, i'm talking to you because all of that that's number one number two is that i want to pray for you i'm seeing a thermometer rising up and down your chest this is bp yes, sir. huh yes sir. you have bp yes sir. did you tell me no, sir. i have to pray on it if i don't pray on it you're going to have serious problem because i'm seeing you go to a doctor maybe now or in the future and the doctor is specifically telling you not to eat salt 
salt like completely i don't know what but i think something that has not to do salt so i have to pray for you i'm going to pray for you and any other thing you came here with hold my hands sir with both of your hands i want you to believe father there is a grace for prosperity receive that grace in the name of jesus is there is an anointing that makes men prosper look at me sir in the name of jesus i release that grace god gave it to me i pray for you again in the name of jesus that mantle and unction that can cause a man to prosper may it come upon your life in the name of jesus christ god bless you sir and bp come sir let the bp be healed now in the name of jesus huh what's your name what's his name augustine augustine augusta yes. thank you come you are the one who needs deliverance i'm going to pray for you but lift your hands i'm looking at you and i'm seeing uh now this is not death but i'm seeing you know how a place has been deserted like a wilderness that's what i'm seeing as i'm looking at you and i have to pray for you because if i don't pray for you are you married huh? no, if i don't pray for you number one you will not get any reasonable man to marry you it's all these foolish men who will loiter around and come and not be serious huh? in the name of jesus for you and your family be set free right now by the power of the holy spirit i open up those doors jane 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 you are a fair woman looks like an evil lady you are wearing it like a sleeveless jane sleeveless something like that who is that huh I'm the one. look at she's surprised you think i'm a herbalist i've been talking to people why are you looking like um one the first miracle is there's something in your stomach yes sir is that true yes did you tell me yes, sir. something is biting you physically like a snake it moves down to your breast region and comes down there every day yes, sir. that's the first thing god is going to do stand up number two see she doesn't want to stand up stand up madam Kai, you are a good woman, but you have suffered. I have to pray for you. Somebody came into your life and did something I cannot say in the open. You have been crying till now. You gave this man everything. Is that true? Yeah, right. Everything you gave this man, he rubbish your life into zero and went away. When I was preaching about mercy, God was talking to you. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. Don't worry. The man even said you are a fool. God will use the foolish things and confound the wild. Stand up. Three. That man that appears in your dream is going to leave you now. Stand up. This, this wicked spirit. Stand up, my dear. Hold my hand. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I love the power of God. That person lifting that picture, lift it high right now the power of god will touch you lift both of your hands there's anointing coming on you right now that's it your prayer is answered it's done completely the miracle for which you are lifting that picture for completely is gone may your life turn and change like day and night in the name of jesus i close every door you have opened in your life and I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, four months. There is someone, you are a businessman. You've not done anything for four months. It's like, you are, I don't know if it's a project you are doing or you are supposed to do something. Four months, you have been completely grounded. I don't know if you are inside or outside. Please run. God wants to pray for you. Why are they here? Jane. I want to pray for you and then we'll pray for the sick. Jane. Ah. Madam, I finished with you. You can go back rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be breakthrough for you. Let there be breakthrough for you.
If I pray for you, please go back. If I don't speak for you, uh, upon you, it just means I'm not hearing anything else. Jane. Your name is Jane? You are the businessman. Lift your hands where you are. Just lift it there. Lift your hands where you are. I said keys were given to people earlier on. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands on you. And everyone who relates to this miracle too, may they receive it. I release an anointing upon you right now. Right now. Everyone who relates to this, in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, you need wisdom, you need strategy, and you need connection. These three things, these are the things you came for. I release upon you grace. Don't be confused. Things are about to turn around in your life. Come. You need a helper. Somebody helped you. You did not thank him. You didn't thank him and this thing has affected you. Doctor. Doctor. I'm seeing a doctor. I don't know if you saw this. Please come, sir. I want to speak to you, sir. Sorry, I'm having to call you. But the Lord is saying, I should tell you, is going to come very fast. Go and write it down. This is what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. Even me, I don't understand what I'm saying. But the Lord is saying, I should tell you, is going to come very fast. It will bring three things. One, envy. Number two, I see your superiors angry with you. And the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. And he's saying it is because this kind of speed is not common. Koinoni, I want you to witness this thing and write it. You will see it happen. Sir, I pray for you. Shade, you are a witness to what God is doing to your husband. God is going to give him such a dimension of speed. Sir, this will start from now till June 2017. You will see speed that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, do you know why you are stranded? Only one reason. You violated the law of honor. The law of honor. This is not just witchcraft. Don't, don't act as if you don't need people. You always need them for your business to rise. Huh? Why am I seeing piles of clothes? What do you do? I sell clothes. You sell clothes. Honor is what you have violated. Hold my hands. Let your business grow now. Go and excel. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. What is Abba? Well, go to Abba too. You go to Abba yes, sir. to buy clothes there. Yes, sir. But favor has closed there. Yes, sir. The person who used to help you, something happened between you and him. Yes, sir. You didn't honor him. He was very fair to you. Huh? Yes, Let me just tell you the truth. That's why I say it's the law of honor. Yes, sir. After I pray for you, he's yes. going to call you. Amen. The business will start again. Amen. Grace for you. I'm not revealing. I'm making it happen. This is not revelation. The word will make it happen. I place the word of God upon your life. And I declare that things will change in Jesus' name. Why are you here? What was this? Project. Project. What are you doing? I want to run this school. Huh? You love children. Huh? And you want to teach. I'm seeing you doing something with a blackboard. Huh? Blackboard. Yes. Ah, you are strong. You want to establish a school. That's what I'm seeing. Nursery school, primary school, secondary school. That's what you want to do. Who told you it cannot be done? Huh? It can be done. You believe that? Hold my hands. Go and honor somebody who is already in having a school. And God will open that door for you. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, we are going to pray for the sick. Please listen. I want, this is the last miracle service for the year. I want everybody to receive. There will be such a heavy mantle transfer after the prayer. I just want us to in the next few minutes to finish here so i want you to please cooperate with us i pray for you you are all blessed in jesus name now please listen all those who are sick in this venue listen please this venue and uh the the overflow by the roadside i want you to just move to the front of your projector the projector screen all of you who are trusting god for a healing miracle no matter how many you are we will pray for you that's why we are here those outside move to your projector screen outside now listen part of those outside can come in not everybody a few of them maybe at the back you can come in then those trusting god for miracles here for you and your loved one now please come up 
come up quickly come up believing God come up believing God we want to do a thorough work tonight please we want to do a thorough work tonight this is what will happen now those outside is okay for those coming outside um, Pastor Jakes Pastor Jakes will help me handle the one by this pro, uh, the projector stand outside and then Ejimi will go outside please guys let's trust God for grace for people to really get miracles hold on please people need let, let me just pray with you guys let's let's do a thorough work father grace in the name of Jesus let your healing power flow let that healing grace Lord in the name of Jesus let it work let that healing grace be at work let there be results in the name of Jesus please come Pastor Alpha come Benga promise Michael come all these hands I will tell you where to in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ grace for you let there be a very thorough results thorough results thorough results thorough results thorough results in the name of Jesus thorough results pastor um, you are Michael please you can go outside and help Jake's um, Benga you and promise you can go outside there with a Jimmy please just go outside let's see I will try to handle the ones here um, very very fast we need so many more people by God's grace pastor Femi come 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 you are here and you are hiding. Come. Come and hold my hands. Let that anointing come upon your life and then you help me here. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So he will help me here. Jesus, we release your healing power all over this place. Listen, please. For all those who are here, please listen. By the grace of God and it's not pride. God has given we a healing ministry. God has given us grace. Please be patient. We are going to hurry up. If I don't mention your case, don't worry. I'll just lay hands on you. I want us to cover grounds as much as possible. I would have just prayed for you, but that's not the instruction God gave us. Maybe if the ministry becomes too large, we can pray. But now I want to lay hands on everyone. There are people with cancers. There are people with all kinds of things. Just trust God. Worship team, please just create the atmosphere for us. If you are tired, maybe the media can play something, a worship song so that you rest too. Especially if you want a healing miracle. Come, lay your hand on your stomach. Father, you heal her in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your voice. If, if, they are, if the worship team, if you are tired, then the media can play something, a worship song. Let's be very fast. Please, as soon as I lay hands on you, I want you to believe God and go back. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be miracles. Now, those of you who are, hold on. Those of you who are seated, please, I permit you to put on your phone. Call your loved ones whatever their requests are i want to pray this is our last miracle service for 2016. anything that has not been done that must be done before december 31st i want you to write it call your loved ones those online submit your request we are all going to pray thank you jesus go ahead you will do a miracle a miracle today thank you jesus Miracle Walker, you are a miracle walker. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. You will do a miracle. Restoration. A miracle Restoration. Today. Restoration. Restoration. Miracle now. Walker. Now. You are a miracle walker. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. You will do a miracle. A miracle today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey. Miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Oh, your name is Yahweh. Oh, your name is Yahweh. Oh, hey. Now you are a miracle walking God. Your name.
it's all over your body this thing everywhere how long one year it just started coming hold my hands let it go now i cost the spirit responsible for this now let her go be healed now this wicked thing it disappears from your skin and lives your life forever it is done darling god bless you your name is After me, I curse every witchcraft. I curse every witchcraft from the village. From the village over my life. Over my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of that's where your problem is coming from. But I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Ah, Mama, something is leaving you. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you. You're with her? Help her. Help my mom, please. You need favor in your life. And you need speed. These two things. You need favor and speed. Ah! The anointing is still on our mother. Favor and receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go ahead, guys. Your name is Yah. Oh, your name is Yahweh. Say your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle walking God. Your name is Yah. Oh, your name is Yahweh. We sing your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. The words you speak turn things around. Your outstretched has lifted me. You took away the chains and cords. blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye! Pray! Pray! Pray for your destiny!
Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos Kata Branda Kata Bakotos Koto Brekateka Nekata The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline 